Do you believe in dragons? That they live among us? Walk side by side with us? That they still exist? Every day I see their power, confidence, and determination. Intelligence, intensity, and passion. They are protective of those who stand with them. Destructive of those who oppose them. And never let a fellow dragon fight alone. Soaring above the clouds, defying gravity, bursting through boundaries, redefining possibilities. There is no limit to what dragons are capable of. Dragons are strong, they are fast, fierce, and full of fire. The subject of admiration, unrelenting dedication, wondrous imagination, and raise a sharp focus. Dragons are special by nature. They impart wisdom, demand respect, embody endless possibilities, and generate immeasurable pride. I believe in dragons. Do you? Great friends providing great memories. Back here at the deck in Drexel Athletics, I'd like to thank Drexel Army ROTC for sponsoring tonight's game and their continued support of the Dragons. Be an Army Dragon if you're an athlete, a scholar, or a leader, then Drexel Army ROTC wants you to join. Be a part of the Army's future leadership, either full-time or part-time, and upon graduation, live the honor of leading our nation's sons and daughters. Be an Army Dragon. Live it. Tubes are given the starting lineups. Jeff Ash introducing our starters today. Why don't you do the same? I will do that. We'll start with the visitors from Boston. David Walker starting at point guard. He's a 6'6 junior. Also in the backcourt, number 10, TJ Williams, a sophomore out of Texas. Quincy Ford, the swingman, number 12, from St. Petersburg, Florida. Really good player, as Bruiser was saying, that they had him play without all last year. Up front, Zach Stahl, a guy who really hurt the Dragons last year. And one of the Player of the Year candidates in the CAA, number 43, Scott Etherton. Scott is a transfer from St. Francis, Pennsylvania, the alma mater of one Ron Bertovich, the CAA deputy commissioner who's in attendance who, here today. Who happens to be here? Coincidence? And that's why we I threw that not. out there. For the Dragons, the starting lineup will start up front with the freshman from Richmond, Austin Williams, at the one forward spot. Next to him is Muhammad Ba, a sophomore from Mali. And the Dragons are in their usual three guard setup with Tavon Allen, Rashawn London, and Damian Lee as a guard. So that's the starting five for each team. We're just to get about ready to get underway. It's a really key battle for the Dragons because if the Dragons are able to win this, it changes the whole shape of the CAA's uh, standings, especially the CAA tournaments. Is right now, you're starting to really look at your spot and you want to not play in day one and a win here would really help that. I'd be all about that. You said they got a karaoke bar that I want to take you to. Nope. Talk about the fact that, that Zach Stahl hurt the Dragons. Stahl and Etherton actually have their career highs against the Dragons last year. Yeah, I definitely don't want another one of those, uh, but Stahl played really, really well last year, and um, he, he, ha he hasn't done that as much against some other people, but he really hurt us. And obviously, Etherton hurts everybody. I thought we did a really nice job against him in the regular season. And then we get down to Richmond. He was dynamite. And he absolutely went off. Scored 23 points that day against the Dragons. Stahl kicked in another 19, and the Dragons went home. Yes, they did, unfortunately. Northeastern wearing their road red with black stripes down the side, white letters on the front, black numbers on the back with white trim. The uh, Huskies had to get out of Boston early, basically escaping before the snow. The airport was already shut down, so they took an Amtrak down on Monday. So they got to spend a bonus day here in Philadelphia. Yeah, we saw them in here practicing yesterday morning. 
It's always difficult when you have to leave Boston a day early. And here we go. Ball is in the air. The Northeastern Huskies control it, so they're going left to right, and here we go. The ball is in the hands of Zach Stahl. Stahl passes it right for Walker. Walker now gets it in the hands of Quincy Ford. Ford, beyond the three-point arc, passes it left for Stahl. Now you go back up top for David Walker. Walker kicks it down on the baseline for Stahl. Stahl trying to get in the lane, now kicks it up top for T.J. Williams. He drop it down to Stahl. Stahl misses the first shot, gets his rebound. Can't get the put back, and now they're going to say that Austin Williams Dragons, committed a foul. Dragons got a box there. You can't let these guys beat you on the boards, and Austin, Austin got beat there and picks up a foul. It'll be inbounding along the baseline, and Williams is going to throw it in, but there's a whistle. And just that quickly, they're going to get Damian Lee a foul. Oh, it's going to be one of those, people. Two fouls, 29 seconds in. Dragons haven't had the ball yet. Normally, that's a, that's a, that's a weekend thing. P.J. Williams throws the ball up top to Stahl, and Stahl quickly gets it across to David Walker. Walker, one dribble, throws it down in the right corner for Quincy Ford. Ford quicks it across to Stahl. Stahl driving from the left-hand side, scores it with the right. And they get the first basket here. It's 2-0. Rashawn London brings it across half court, dribbling between his legs. He bounces it right for Tavon Allen. Allen. And his home white bounced it right for Damian Lee. Dame was by the right elbow. Now he backs out. He's along the sideline, picks up the dribble. Bounced it right for Mohamed Ba. Ba's going to dribble the left side of the court, hand it off to Tavon. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Tavon bounced it left for Rashawn. Rashawn looking to get it on the block, can't do it, so he throws it up top for Tavon. Tavon, left elbow, jumper, no good. Mohamed Ba with a rebound. Mo in the lane, looking to put it back up. Now he's going to kick it back out to Tavon. For what seemed like 10 seconds in the lane, but... Rashawn drops it down to Muhammad Ba, and we've got a foul. The foul's going to be, be on Stahl. That's Jeff Clark making a couple. He, he made the last two calls there, and both of them kind of touch fouls. These two teams play like that, though. You know, If you have refs that don't let them play. Tavon Allen gets it into Damian Lee, who goes floats along the baseline and scores it. And it's two apiece, 18-30 remaining here in the first half. Quincy Ford on the left wing, dribbles back towards the middle, throws it for Stahl. Stahl dribbles right, hands it off to Walker. Walker throws it back across court to Quincy Ford. Ford puts it on the floor, top of the circle, throws it left. Now the ball's down on the left block for Etherton. He squares up against Muhammad Ba, puts it on the floor with the right hand, gets into the lane, up and under, off the glass, he scores it. It was like an old man bucket right there. No athleticism involved in that. He just got positioned, kind of flung it off the backboard. Whatever it takes, dude, whatever it takes. 4-2 is the score. London throws it right for Allen. Allen squares up, looking it over. Dribbles, backs out a little bit. Now throws it right for Damian Lee. Lee's got Walker on him. He bounced it left for Bob. Bob's going to dribble left now and hand it off to Tavon. Tavon comes back to the top of the circle. He's still dribbling. Throws it right for Damian along the right sideline. Dame tries to get in the paint. Now he steps back. Throws it up top for Allen. Five seconds on the shot clock. Tavon launches it. No good. Rebounded by Etherton. Etherton throws it ahead for Quincy Ford. Ford lobs it down on the block for Stahl. Stahl kicks it back up top for Ford. Now Walker. And it's on the left side for TJ Williams. Williams double teamed. Now he kicks it across to Stahl. Stahl now passes it to Walker on the right sideline. He's holding it. He's going to dribble left. Throw it down in the right corner for Quincy Ford. Ford's three is long. And it comes down into the hands of Muhammad Ba. Lee with the ball on the left wing. Holding it. Now he puts it on the floor. Gets into the paint, jump stop, puts it up with the right hand, off the back iron, no good, tips it back, no good, and Etherton comes away with a rebound. Williams throws it right for Walker, now back up top for Williams, and they get it in the hands of Etherton, who hands it to Quincy Ford. He's on the left side, right in front of the coaches, Drexel's coaches, throws it across to Walker. Walker dribbling, gets to the baseline, pass it across for Etherton, and he makes it look easy. Austin Williams came over to help out. And you can't leave a guy who's like Scott Etherton wide open. 6-2 is the score. We've played almost four minutes here in Philadelphia. Lee up top for Allen. Allen left for London. London drops it down on the left block for Bob. Bob looking to back in. Gets into the paint. Has the ball knocked away from him again. He picks it up. Kicks it out to Damian Lee. And Lee knocks down a three. 6-5. Good look by Ba there. Looked like he almost traveled and was able to get out of the trap and 
Walker to Stahl, who quickly tries to get it down to Etherton. Stolen by Damian Lee, taken by Lee. He drops it off for Tavon, and Tavon Walks. travels. Wow. So take the dunk, wipe the dunks from your memory back. It didn't happen. We got a turnover, Drexel, and a timeout on the floor. With a score of 6-5 Northeastern, we'll step away for a moment. Be back here to the DAC in just a moment, right here on DrexelDragons.com. the card most accepted in the Philadelphia region, you have the compassion and security of Blue Cross, giving you the confidence to move forward. Independence Blue Cross. Live fearless. Does this look like your technology plan? Looking for answers? Armada International can help. Providing business process, mobile solutions, web applications, and CRM applications. One company solving all your technology issues armada international leading our clients to conquer obstacles and achieve unprecedented success sorry about that didn't hit the cough button there uh back here at the deck 15 55 to play here in the first half in northeastern with the early 6-5 lead unfortunate right there as the dragons turned the ball over damian lee made a nice steal came up court Fed Allen for what appeared to be an easy dunk, but he did take a step before slamming it home, so it'll be Northeastern ball. Just a step, huh? Well, we'll say an extra step. Might have been three. Impressive dunk, but he just, uh, he definitely carried it a little at first. And good call by the referees. Rodney Williams making his first appearance of the year. Tyshawn Miles also in the game now for Drexel, along with London, Lee, and Allen. Etherton with the ball, throws it up top for Reggie Spencer, who checks in. David Walker has it on the right wing. He passes it up top for TJ Walker. No, TJ Williams, sorry. He gets it down to Quincy Ford. Ford drops it down on the left block for Spencer. Reggie squares up, now puts it on the floor, trying to back his way in against Miles. Turns on the baseline, gets up on the rim, but doesn't score. Rebound for Tyshawn. He gets it to London. London tries to throw it to Damian Lee, and he threw it behind Dame. So turnover, Drexel. And Calvin Hicks, echoing his coach, literally screamed, what are you doing? I think they screamed it at the same time. <laughs> uh, boy, those are two turnovers, right? They, this team is too good to give them that many opportunities. Northeastern is one of the quality teams in this league. Etherton with the ball just above the three-point arc. Kicks it down in the left corner. T.J. Williams going to get bumped by Rashawn London on the outside. It's been a tough minute for London. Throws the ball away, gets called for... When it rains, it pours. Yeah, that's one you just got to get in front of him there, and he wasn't able to do it. So London will have his first foul. That's already three on the team. 6-5 the score, 15-08 remaining here in the first half. Quincy Ford puts it on the ground. Here comes the walk. <laughs> Once he picked it up, he put it under his arm like he was going for the end zone. Yeah, he, 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 dive he, 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 did, he did tuck it. <laughs> He was going to turn the corner on that one. He saw the corner on the end zone over there. He was going to dive and maybe get the pylon for the touchdown. <laughs> Good pace so far for this game. This is what Drexel wants. Now, Bruce said one of the things is that, you know, teams in the league have problems scoring sometimes. Even Northeastern plays a lot of games in the 50s. Rodney Williams with the ball now. Dribbles left. Hands it off to Tavon. Tavon, top of the circle. Throws it left for Dame. Now back to Tavon. He gets in the lane. Kicks it. Tries to kick it back for Rashawn and throws it to the Northeastern bench. Just another bad turnover there, just trying to do too much. It's three straight possessions that have come up empty via the turnover. T.J. Williams, sophomore, dribbling, drifts left in front of head coach Bruiser Flint. Now he comes back to the top of the circle, throws it right for David Walker. Walker puts it on the floor. Dragon step out on him. He throws it back across to T.J. Williams. Williams. Throws it left for the fresh, for Devon Begley. Begley gets it down to Etherton. Etherton puts it on the floor. He's in the paint. Pump fake, pump fake, gets it up. No good. Yeah. Rebounded by Tavon Allen and Tyshawn Miles. Good defense there by Tyshawn. Miles gets it out to Rashawn. Rashawn 
Holds up three fingers to call the play. Bounce it left for Williams. Williams at the left elbow. He's going to dribble right and hand it off to Damian. Damian throws it right for Tavon. He's just off the right elbow. He steps back beyond the three-point arc and drops it down on the right block for Rodney. Rodney puts it on the floor. Right left-handed hook shot is off. Northeastern comes away with it. TJ Williams bringing it up the floor. Throws it left for David Walker. Now Etherton. Spin move on the block and hangs on the rim for a second. Doesn't fall. And Damian Lee picks it up off the floor. Lee ahead to London. London back to Lee now. They're in the offensive end of the floor. He passes it to Tyshawn, and Tyshawn quickly gets it to Tavon. And Rashawn will come get it and set up the offense. 13-22 remaining here in the first half at 6-5. Tyshawn at the left elbow, squares up, dribbles right, hands it to Damian. Damian can't get a shot off, so he'll hold it. Pass it right for Tavon. Tavon will fire it up. The jumper's no good. Spencer on the floor, along with Tyshawn Miles, and going to call a held ball. And on the alternate possession, it'll be Drexel basketball. Good hustle by Miles getting on the floor, and getting the Dragons possession. So the type of play that the Dragons were not making earlier in the season, you're seeing a lot more of now. Tyshawn Miles getting on the floor for the Dragons. Tavon gets it in the left corner to Dame. Dame throws it up top for Rashawn. So he passed the 13 minute mark here in the first half. Tavon Allen on the right wing, passed it to Rodney Williams at the right elbow, he'll dribble left. The handoff to London. London between the circles. Bounce it left for Damien. Damien gets in the lane, drops it back for Rashawn. Rashawn from three. It's off the back iron and comes out long. David Walker catches it. Walker throws it right for TJ Williams. Williams between two dragons, falls down, but Reggie Spencer's there to pick up the mess. He throws it up top for Walker. Now Devon Begley has it, the freshman from Pearland, Texas. Dribbles down in the left corner, throws it up top for Etherton, who will fire up a three. It's in and out. And Damian Lee gets the rebound. I don't know how they didn't call that a foul down here on Rodney Williams. It looked like he just tripped him. All of a sudden, they let him play a little after some touch fouls early. Mm, realize there weren't going to be a whole lot of people left. <laughs> Allen. <laughs> Looking up at the scoreboard saying we can't take these guys out. Now London has it on the left wing. He drops it down for Rodney. Rodney, a foot off the block. Trying to back his way in. Turns. Right-handed hook shot is no good. T.J. Williams pass ahead to Etherton. Etherton ahead of everybody. Jams it home. Dragons got to get back a little quicker there. Etherton now at six straight points for Northeastern. It's not really the guy you can have beating you down the floor. No, I, you're, you're right about that. London. Bounce it for Damien. Damien tosses it to Tavon. Tavon, left side at the top of the circle. Holding it, looking it over. Now he bounces it for Dame. Dame in the lane. Jump stop. Right-handed shot is off the glass and good. Everybody knows it's coming, and they still just can't stop it. 8-7. Well, he elevated, did a great job. Jump stop and then elevated. Just flicked it up with the right wrist. Williams stepping between three defenders. Scores it with a layup. 10-7, Northeastern. Got 11-10 remaining here in the first half. The immediate timeout of the next stop at your play. Rashawn London bounce it over to Tavon between the circles. Now he gets it to Damian. Damian holding it. Fakes a pass, now bounces it once, throws it right for Tavon. Tavon steps inside the three-point arc, then drops back. Passes it to Rodney Williams. Williams, 12 feet from the basket. One dribble, throws it to Rashawn, six seconds. Tavon Allen shoots the three off the back iron high. And an easy rebound for Spencer. T.J. Williams will bring it up the floor for Northeastern. Throws it in the right corner for Walker, and Walker throws it to Etherton, who is fouled by Rodney Williams. It'll be the fourth team foul on Drexel, the first on Rodney. And we have a timeout on the floor. So it'll be Northeastern basketball when we come back. 10.44 remaining here in the first half. It is 10-7 Northeastern in front of Drexel. And we're back here to the DAC in just a moment. Suit up for the CEO while earning your MBA. The C-Suite Co-op, only at Drexel LeBeau.
The Drexel University Center for Hospitality and Sport Management offers undergraduate and graduate degree programs in culinary arts, food science, hospitality management, and sport management to develop the next generation of industry leaders. Graduates of these programs go on to exciting careers in restaurants, global food companies, hotels, casinos, and professional and college sports. For more information, visit us on the web at drexel.edu slash hsm or call 215-895-6255 to find out more about these exciting careers. Remaining and the Dragons trail 10-7. It's been a tough start in the early going for people other than Damian Lee. Dame is his usual self tonight. He's got seven points. But the rest of the team is a combined 0 for 7 with three turnovers. It's tough. Dame's been carrying him. Looks like he's going to have to keep going now until somebody starts warming up. That's, that's kind of going to be an everyday thing. And the one thing about Damien that he's gotten really good at is he does it efficiently. He's 3 of 5 from the floor right now. Yep, that's, you're right. That's what he does. And he hasn't got to the line yet today. Actually, just one on the three-point play, I believe. Uh, no, he shot a three. Actually, I'm sorry. Those are three-pointers. But, yeah, he hasn't got to the line, and that's where he's been a lot of his points lately because he has been so efficient. So Northeastern to inbound it. They get the ball in to, they're trying to get the ball in. Thought they were going to give it to Devin Begley. Now they throw it over the top to him. Begley loses control of it. It's tipped up, and he saves it just in front of the half-court line. Great save by Zach Stahl to help out there. Begley throws it left for Quincy Ford. Ford in front of Bruiser Flint, puts it on the floor, dribbles towards the middle of the floor. Now he kicks it right for Begley. Down in the corner for TJ Williams. Now Stahl hands it back to Williams. Williams drops it down to Stahl on the right block. He goes baseline, kicks it in the corner for Begley, and Begley's three is no good. Comes out to Tavon Allen. Allen, one on four, will slow up and wait for his teammates to come, teammates to come down. On London, hands it to Lee. Lee dribbles left, throws it to Allen. Allen hands it to Sammy Mohica, making his first appearance today. With Tavon Allen from the left corner for three, it's no good. Rebound on the weak side by Devon Begley. Begley throws it ahead for Kwesi Abaka. And he can't do anything with it, so they'll reset the offense. T.J. Williams with the ball, throws it right for Ford. Ford lobs it down for Stahl. Stahl being guarded by Ba, kicks it back out to Quincy Ford. Ford thought about shooting it, now instead drops it back for Stahl. Stahl being guarded by Mojica, it's a mismatch. Throws it up top for Devon Begley. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Six, Begley in the lane, trying to take it all the way. Underhanded scoop shot, no good. And the Dragons come away with it. It was going to be a turnover anyway. Lee to London. London loses it on the way up, and it's going to be turnover for Sean London. And that's going to get Freddie Wilson up off the bench. Tough start for Sean London right there. That's just another disappointing turnover right there. So Wilson on the floor along with Mojica, Lee, Allen, and Ba. And the Northeastern five is Zach Stahl, TJ Williams, David Walker, Reggie Spencer, and Quincy Ford. I tell you, Stahl uses his body real well. He doesn't look that big. He was really pushing the Dragons around inside as he was trying to get post position. Stahl with the ball on the left wing. Throws it for Spencer. Spencer, top of the circle, dribbles left. Gets to TJ Williams. Williams on the top of the key, drops it off for a cutting Spencer. They're going to say it's a kick ball. They have Zach Stahl listed at 6'5 and 215. I would say he's a little bit thicker than 215. Yeah, he definitely is. Strong kid. T.J. Williams inbounded from the baseline. Gets in the left corner for Quincy Ford. Ford throws it up top for Walker. Walker, one dribble, shoots from the top of the key, in and out, comes out to Freddie Wilson. Wilson across half court. Dribbles to the left sideline, now brings it up top. Gets to Mojica. Mojica dribbles right and hands it to Tavon. Tavon drops it off for Dame. Dame around the right side. Gives it to Mojica. Mojica in the lane for Ba. Ba catches it, puts it up off the glass and scores it. You don't see that too often, the way the Dragons play to, to give it a mo right there, but he finishes nicely. Ford up top for Spencer, and Spencer quickly gets it on the left wing for David Walker. Walker between the circles, throws it left for T.J. Williams. Williams tries to get to the left elbow, can't, so he throws it across court for Walker. Walker dribbling, throws it left for Williams. Williams dribbles right, gets to Quincy Ford. Ford's going to back out, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Ford throws it left for Williams. Williams. Goes down towards the left corner. Now he turns to the baseline. He's trapped. The ball gets knocked out of his hands with a double dribble. They pass to Ford, and 
It's a turnover. I think that was good defense by the Dragons. I mean, obviously, he was a little out of control, but Dragons seemed to be in spots there. Every time he turned around, thought he had an opening, they got good help. Yeah, he probably double dribbled in there. I think, I think he did, and I think that's why Brew was so upset talking to Gary Prager along the sidelines. 10-9 is your score as we cross the eight-minute mark here in the first half. Northeastern in front of Drexel. Mohica to Lee. Lee dribbles right. Throws it back left for Freddie Wilson. Wilson thought about shooting. Said he'll dribble left and hand it to Mohica. Mohica dribbling right across the top of the circle. Hands it to Allen. Allen now gives it to Wilson. Wilson throws it left for Allen. Allen jab step. Goes baseline. Floater is good. Tavon Allen with the floater. Makes it 11-10. Gives Drexel their first lead. That could have been a charge. There was a lot of contact on the baseline. Could have gone either way. Instead, it was nothing. Zach Stahl, the top of the key, dribbles left, gets into the lane, and lays it up home. Count it, and there will be a foul on the play. Looks like the foul's going to go against Muhammad Ba. That'll be his first and Drexel's fifth. So we have a free throw coming when we get back to action here at the deck, but first the timeout. 7.24 remaining here in the first half. It's a one-point lead for Northeastern, 12 to 11. No one else can do what Colonial Marble and Granite can do. We've revolutionized the way you buy your granite countertops. Colonial Marble and Granite, the nation's leading granite countertop fabricator. Visit our King of Prussia showroom today and see how easy, beautiful, and affordable your countertops can be. Professional, courteous service, unbeatable prices, just $19.99 installed. No one else can beat Colonial Marble and Granite. Visit us online at colonialmarble.net. Some apps help you keep track of things. Some help you kill time. But only one app really keeps you running. The Duncan Mobile app. With DD Perks, our exciting new rewards program. Just enroll, pay with your card, view your points, and tap to redeem your rewards. The Duncan Mobile app. Download it today. Back here at the DAC, it's 12 to 11. Northeastern with the lead on Drexel. They'll try to extend that with a free throw. When we come back, there's 7.24 to go in the first half. Been a competitive game. Kind of what we thought when these two teams play. You think of games in the 40s and 50s over the years. Uh, two defensive-minded teams, and that's what it's been like today with, a, with an assist from some turnovers. We've already seen four Drexel turnovers and three Huskies turnovers. So we'll come back with just under eight minutes to go in the half, and Dragons down one. You think Bruiser would be happy with the, the lower scoring first half? Northeastern taking their time coming out of the huddle, so the officials admonish them a little bit to hurry up and join the party. Stahl comes to the line now. Lee Allen, Wilson, Williams, and Mohica is the Drexel 5. Zach Stahl has the ball, puts it in the air, and scores it. 13-11 is your score now. Wilson across half court. Freddie dribbles right across the court, throws it back left for Williams. Williams will dribble left and hand it to Mohica. Mohica thought about getting in the lane, instead he drops it off for Allen. Allen to Lee, back to the left corner for Allen. They throw it up top for Lee. Lee dribbles right and hands it to Freddie. Freddie gets to the left elbow, kicks it back for Tavon. Tavon in the paint, drops it to a cutting Williams, and it's knocked away, taken by T.J. Williams. Ahead to Quincy Ford. Ford kicks it in the corner for David Walker. Walker from three, it's good. Walker's a good shooter. He can't leave him alone, and the turnover turns into three points. You, you look like Quincy Ford was probably going to make a mistake there, and instead he found a wide-open shooter who was ready to shoot. I thought he might charge, but he was able to pull up before he made contact. Lee dribbling left, hands it to Mohica. Mohica dribbles around the top of the circle right. It's to Allen, who comes back and gives it to Lee. Lee, it's a foul against Etherton as he stepped out and gave him a little hip check. Just the second team foul against Northeastern. We're almost 14 minutes into this. Rashawn London checking back in. Tavon Allen going to the bench. So Mohica is going to inbound it from along the boundary here. Just left of our position. Gets to Rashawn. Rashawn quickly hands it to Dame. Dame dribbles right and gives it to Freddie. Freddie now hands off to Sammy. And now Damian has it and quickly fires up a three in and out. Rolled around the rim before coming out high. Quincy Ford with a rebound. 
Brings it across half court. Ford throws it up top for Stahl. Stahl gets in the hands of Walker. Now T.J. Williams comes, and they're going to set up a play. Etherton with his back to the basket, holding it above the right elbow. Now he's going to dribble left and hand it to Ford. Ford trying to get inside the lane, can't do it, so he gives it to Williams. Williams dribbles across the top of the lane, drops it off for Etherton. Etherton puts it on the floor, goes baseline, kicks it back for Walker. They almost lost control of it. Six seconds on the shot clock. Walker kicks it back to Etherton. He's going to drive, kicks it in the corner for Ford. Ford puts it on the floor, and... Shot clock violation. Dragons force another turnover. They'll get the ball down five. It's been a struggle offensively so far, really for both teams. 16 to 11 is the score. Wilson around the top of the circle, hands it off to Rashawn. Rashawn's going to come back towards the near side, throw it for Dame. Dame to the top of the circle, throws it right for Freddie. Freddie's going to shoot a three, and it gets stuck between the basket and the backboard. Pretty much sums up the year so far, doesn't it? <laughs> it's Yikes. Just, it's just one of those like you thought things were going right and it looked like a good it looked like a good move there. It was wide open. Took an, took a step in, you think, all right, he's in rhythm. Yep. So much for that. Both teams have taken seventeen shots. Drexel five for seventeen, Northeastern seven for seventeen. Etherton with an attempted hook shot. Great defense by Williams. And London comes out with the ball on the baseline. Comes across half court, hands it to Damien. Damien kicks it out for Mojica. Mojica drops it down on the right block for Williams. Williams underneath the basket, scores it. Rodney Williams back on the scoreboard. 16-13, 4.54 remaining here in the first half. You kick it across for Etherton. Etherton to a cutting stall, and he scores it. Oh, can't get beat on that. Caught it inside the lane, just stopped and put it on the glass with the right hand. 18-13. Style with seven. He's into the game averaging just eight. So he's done. London dribbling left, hands it to Freddie Wilson. Shot fake, gets into the paint, goes behind his back, loses control of it, and gets bailed out by the official. Let's see if they get that on Etherton or if they, maybe Williams. They're going to go on TJ Williams. TJ Williams is first. Just the third on Northeastern, Williams first. 425 remaining here in the first half. Mojica looking to get it in. Does to Wilson. Wilson on the baseline. Thought about shooting. Got away with the travel. Now he drops it off for Rodney Williams. Williams trying to back his way in from the left side. He turns and walks. That's a traveling violation. Huskies ball. I think it was a good call, actually. I know Bruce not happy about it, but it, Rodney definitely moved his feet just a little there. So TJ Williams brings it across half court, drops it off for Etherton at the left elbow. Etherton looking it over, trying to get somebody to cut. Now Walker comes out and gets it, and we have a whistle. Three-second call. Oh. It's a three-second violation. Drexel ball. Sorry, violation. I think Mike Connors told him it was three seconds, and I don't think he liked the fact that Mike Connors told him that was three seconds because he just, he just gave a look over there and... Dragons bringing the ball up. They're down five as we cross the, the four-minute mark here in the first half. Bounce it left for Freddie Wilson. Wilson gets it to Damian Lee. Lee dribbles around the double team slip, kicks it back for London. London shot no good. It was a three-point attempt. Put back by Mojica, no good, and Quincy Ford comes out with it. He's dribbling up the left sideline. Now kicks it back out for Walker. Walker steps inside the three, loses the handle, but it goes off of Sammy Mojica's knee and out of bounds. So Northeastern's going to get to keep the ball. 3.41 remaining here in the first half. There might be some dancing bears before this one is over. It's getting a little silly. 18-13 is the score, and we're back to the DAC in just a moment. It's one straight shot down 95 south. The destination is familiar. The goal is the same. It's called March Madness for a reason. Your Dragon squad returns to Baltimore's Royal Farms Arena for the CAA Men's Basketball Championship, March 6th through March 9th. So much to see, so much to do. 
For the absolute best seats available to Drexel fans, visit DrexelDragons.com for more information. Wednesday night basketball between the Northeastern Huskies and Drexel Dragons. And right now, the Huskies hold an 18 to 13 lead over the Dragons with 3.41 to go. In the first half, Northeastern will have the ball out of bounds in front of the Drexel bench with 27 seconds left on the shot clock when we come back. Dragons playing some tough D. They're working real hard. Just not able to really get any, get any offense going. Dragons just six of 19 from the floor and one of eight from long range. Damian Lee with half of the baskets has seven of the 13 points for Drexel. On the other side, Stahl leads the way with seven and Etherton has six points and two boards for the Huskies. So Devon Begley will throw it in from the sideline in front of the Drexel coaches. Gets it into David Walker. Walker dribbles right towards the sideline. Now he turns, gets baseline, kicks it in the left corner for Ford. Ford from three, it's good. That's a three -point basket by Just like that, the lead is up to eight. 21-13. Lee dribbling left, hands it to Mojica. Mojica will now hand it to Wilson. Wilson in the right wing, dribbles towards the middle, gets it to Allen. Allen drops it down the left block for Williams, and Williams gets it in the air, misses. And it's rebounded by Zach Stahl. Rodney's got to make that bucket. That, that's right there. You can't ask for a better shot. David Walker dribbling left. Kicks it down in the corner for Begley. Begley back up top for Quincy Ford. Ford calls for the screen. Dribbles right. Kicks it back to Begley. Begley now down to Stahl on the baseline. He loses control of it. It's picked up off the floor by Allen. Allen dribbling down the right boundary. Puts it ahead for Damian Lee. Lee can't do anything with it, so hits it up top for Wilson. Wilson. To Sammy Mojica. Mojica now hands it off to Lee. Lee dribbling left, hands it to Wilson. Wilson dribbles around the top of the circle. His pass is deflected, taken by Wilson. And Wilson is going to dunk it home. I'm sorry, Walker. And Bruiser Flint wants a timeout. Well, that's a crusher, those type turnovers. So all of a sudden, the Dragons actually led this game at one point, 11 to 10. And it's been a 13 to 2 a run. Blink of an eye, they led this game. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's up to 10 points. Boy, that's just a killer turnover. Just that was just, was you know. Yeah, it was picked off in such a spot that really even even I could have made that. I mean, that's one of those where, where the guy picked it off. There was no way the Dragons were going to catch him. Easy layup, nothing you can do. And that's coming right after the Dragons missed an easy bucket inside. So now all of a sudden, a team with not too much firepower, down 10. As Northeastern's on the 7-0 run over the last 2-12. 2.33 remaining here in the half. London across half court. Bounce it left for Mojica. Mojica to the top of the circle, stops. Throws it right for Lee. Lee is going to get in the paint. Tries to get it up on the glass. Can't, but he is held. It looks like they're going to get Spencer. And the Dragons will be going to the line for the first time today. Damian Lee has actually been killing it from the line lately. Lee toes the line, rubs up the ball. Bounced it once, bends the knees, and off the front, off the back, and in for Damian Lee. Lee to take another. 221 remaining here in the first half. 87% free throw shooter, it's away and good. <laughs> Navon Begley brings it across half court for the Northeastern Huskies, 23-15 the score. The visitors in front of the Dragons right now. Zach Stahl holding it, throws it right for Spencer. Spencer quickly gets it to David Walker. Now down in the corner for Quincy Ford. He fakes the shot, gets in the lane, kicks it back for Walker. Walker, couple ball fakes, now he backs out. Going to dribble to the top of the key. Throw it for a cutting Reggie Spencer, and Spencer scores it off the glass. Caught it, came down, then put it off the glass to make it 25-15, back to a 10-point game. Allen drops it off for Lee. Lee to the left elbow. Throws it out for London. London dribbles all the way in the lane, puts up a floater. It's no good. Rebounded by Quincy Ford. Leaning the wrong way. That was a tough shot for London. He was running right and shooting left. Ford, still dribbling, kicks it back for Walker. Walker now drops it down for Spencer off the left block. 
Going to back his way in with a shoulder. Now turn around, fade away, hanging on the rim, no good, but a put back by Stahl. So that's just unlucky. The Dragons had a very good position there defensively rebounding. But the ball hung on the rim forever. Yeah, it just, and it just hit the second time, so as the Dragons guys went up. And came back ball, down. And the ball stayed there. Allen tried to get to the left block, couldn't, so he retreats, comes all the way back out to the sideline, almost at half court. Now he dribbles back in, gets it to London. London inside the three-point arc, shoots it, scores it. A long two for Rashawn London, gets it back to a 10-point game, 27-17, Dragons trailing. Begley running left, throws it for Walker. Now Walker back to Begley, his man fell down. He kicks it to Stahl, and there's going to be a foul in the lane. That's Damien's second. It will be the second on Lee. Now Devon Begley's going to go to the bench, and T.J. Williams will check in. Pre-game show called T.J. Williams one of the more underrated guards in the league. They have a nice team. Uh, they really do. They have a lot of, lot of good parts. Etherton back on the floor. Spencer goes to the bench for Northeastern. Williams throws it into Etherton, and Etherton drives the lane and scores with a hook shot. And went right by Mo. 36 seconds remaining here in the first half. 29-17 is the score. Damian Lee has the ball up top. Now he gets to Rashawn London. London, 26 seconds remaining in the first half. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Just dribbling, content to eat on some clock cookies right now. Get Drexel back to the... Locker room to regroup. They're vegan cookies. Don't worry about it, Tubes. You're giving me a look. Lee dribbles around the right. Put, tries to throw an underhanded scooping shot, and it gets thrown into the, the seats by Etherton. And he went by his first guy. Thought he, had, thought he had him beat, but the help came over. So now there's just three seconds on the shot clock. 6.8 in the half. So he'll throw it in from the baseline. Mojica to throw it in. Gets it into Allen. Allen didn't realize how much time there was in the shot clock. Barely gets it off. Shoots a three. It's no good. And Samuel Hika with a putback. <laughs> they thought the shot clock was the game clock, so Northeastern stayed on the floor. Mohika able to get an easy rebound and put it in. So it's a 10-point game here at the half, 29 to 19. Boy, Mo Mohika has a knack for getting those rebounds in tight and at the end of the half. That's, it. That's apparently his position on the, on the floor. Whenever you're, you know, the clock's winding down, put him on the floor. But a bizarre looking play. Not the prettiest half of basketball here, but it is in the books. 10-point game, 29-19. We'll step away for a moment, come back and give you the individual scoring for the first half of action, and then uh, also see what else is going on around the league. I'm Rob Brooks along with Mike Tuberosa. Happy to call Drexel basketball for you on a Wednesday evening. It's halftime, and we'll be back in just a moment. There is a place where standouts fit in. A place where innovation is tradition. A place where you can live the lesson. Welcome to Drexel University. We're a different kind of school, and we're looking for a different kind of student. Drexel is ranked among the top 100 universities in the United States. We offer the academics, research, work experience, and professional network that will help you make your mark. At Drexel, your education goes beyond the classroom. Drexel Co-op gives you the opportunity to work real jobs with leading corporations in the United States or abroad, building your resume and earning a paycheck. On Co-op, you'll meet the leaders of today, and on campus, you'll be among the leaders of tomorrow. Get involved on campus and around the city. Philadelphia is an extension of our university, an international, historical, and cultural hub. It's a place you can live, work, play, and learn. Drexel University. Get an education as unique as you are. Your world is waiting.
It's one straight shot down 95 south. The destination is familiar. The goal is the same. It's called March Madness for a reason. Your Dragon Squad returns to Baltimore's Royal Farms Arena for the CAA Men's Basketball Championship, March 6th through March 9th. So much to see, so much to do. For the absolute best seats available to Drexel fans, visit DrexelDragons.com for more information. Cheer more in Baltimore as the road to the Final Four kicks off with the Colonial Athletic Association Men's Basketball Championship, March 6th through 9th at the Royal Farms Arena. A new money-saving fan package includes a room at your choice of hotels, two harbor passes, two admissions to the Power Play at Live Fan Fest, and an option to purchase discounted tickets for the championship. Come for the tourney and stay for the fun. Score your fan package today at Baltimore.org. here at the half. They're taking on the Northeastern Huskies. And as we take a look inside the numbers, for we'll start with Northeastern. They got three points and three rebounds out of Quincy Ford. Just the one three-pointer for Ford. Eight points from Scott Etherton on four of eight shooting. Five from David Walker. Two from TJ Williams. Zach Stahl with nine on four of six shooting and one of one from the free throw line. And two points from Reggie Spencer. That is their 29. They shot 52%, 13 for 25 from the floor, two of five from deep, and just the one of one from the free throw line. They pulled down 14 rebounds in the first half. And if you listen to the pregame show, you heard Bruiser say, one of the things we got to do is can't let them beat us up on the boards. Well, Dragons tied them in that department, 14 rebounds apiece. Uh, Huskies had nine assists, one block two steals against six turnovers in the first half. For the Drexel Dragons, it looks like this. Muhammad Ba, Tavon Allen, Rashawn London, Sammy Mojica, and Rodney Williams each scored two points. So two points apiece for Ba, Allen, London, Mojica, and Williams. Damian Lee scored nine, and the Dragons have 19 points. Dragon shot 8 for 25, 32% from the floor. You heard Bruiser say before the game, can't shoot 32, 33% and win the game. They were 1 of 9 from deep, and Damian Lee made the two free throws in the half, 2 of 2. As I said before, they pulled down 14 rebounds, had 6 assists, 1 block, 2 steals, and 7 turnovers. And a couple of those early turnovers were really, really bad turnovers. Balls thrown behind guys, balls thrown just out of bounds. Um, the kinds of turnovers that make coaches only a little bit more than slightly crazy. And Bruiser was at one point um, showing some exasperation with the type of turnovers the Dragons were making early in this game. The Dragons had the lead for just a hot second at a one point lead at one moment, but Northeastern has led the rest of the way. Uh, Northeastern only five points off of turnovers. Drexel only able to capitalize once for two points off of turnovers. They each have four second chance points. Uh, Northeastern has scored 18 of their points in the paint. Meanwhile, Drexel has been able to score just 10 points in the paint. That's the first half. The Dragons trail by 10 here at home to the Northeastern Huskies. Huskies top of the league in the CAA. They come in at 14-7 and seven with a 6-2 and two league record. Uh, in terms of league play, they're tied with William and & Mary and UNCW at 6-2, and two, but that 14-7 and seven is the best league overall, best record in the league overall. And that makes them the number one seed in the CAA right now. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll see what else is going on in the CAA. There are lots of other games going. And we'll tell you what's happening in those games in just a moment right here on DrexelDragons.com. We've been dreaming about this moment for the past four years. We can fight back. We can fight back. And we want to take over the CAA. I'm just on cloud nine right now. I can't, I can't even explain the way I feel. It means the world. We've been working four years really hard for it, and this moment is worth it. It's absolutely unbelievable. That last play, that last game is something that I won't ever forget. We made history, babe. We did it. My, this is my dream. with another CAA.TV update.
Colonial Marble and Granite. Quality, selection, service, and price. We're the nation's leading fabricator. We buy direct, saving you money. Offering thousands of choices and hundreds of colors. All on site in our one-of-a-kind indoor slab yard. Colonial Marble and Granite. The original home of the 1999 special. Get your new granite countertop for just $19.99. Fully installed. Stop by our King of Prussia Super Showroom and see how easy, affordable, and beautiful your countertops can be. Visit us online at colonialmarble.net. Looking for solutions when working with the government? Armada International can help. Providing lobbying and advocacy. Helping our clients navigate the hurdles when doing business with Capitol Hill. Providing successful campaign strategies. Managing political action committees and other advocacy organizations. Armada International. Making the connection. up for the CEO while earning your MBA. The C-Suite Co-op, only at Drexel LeBeau. The Drexel University Center for Hospitality and Sport Management offers undergraduate and graduate degree programs in culinary arts, food science, hospitality management, and sport management to develop the next generation of industry leaders. Graduates of these programs go on to exciting careers in restaurants, global food companies, hotels, casinos, and professional and college sports. For more information, visit us on the web at drexel.edu slash hsm or call 215-895-6255 to find out more about these exciting careers strange night in the CA Delaware jumped out to a quick lead now they're trailing James Madison at halftime 40 to 34 that's not the strange part there's a couple blowouts in games that you think would be a whole lot closer right now UNC Wilmington hosting Elon North Carolina rivals for their first time in Wilmington as members of the CAA and man the Seahawks are just taking it to the Phoenix it's 47 to 23 at halftime and as one-sided as that is this one might even be more of a surprise Rob you know William & Mary is a really tough place to play this year uh, they're a good team they're playing very well at home but at halftime the tribe is shooting 64 percent from the floor and just laying it on Hofstra in, in a really big time battle these are two of the better teams in the league and right now it's William & Mary 54 Hofstra 34 at the half that's amazing. 54 first half points. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's, wow. I know they're a good offensive team, but wow. And, and one of the big things in this game, when you look inside the stats, you know, the first thing you look at is what are they doing from three? Well, they're only seven of 13, which that's good, but it's not lights out like we've seen some teams shoot I mean, here. That's, but that's a whole game. It's 21 points already from, from deep. And Daniel Dixon, you know, everybody's talking about Marcus Thornton, and Marcus has 14. Daniel Dixon's five of five from three in the first half. So if Daniel Dixon's giving you 15, you better start guarding him, because that guy, he's a good three-point shooter. We saw that here. He, he's, a, he's a very underrated player in our league, and that just, that just stuns me. And then on the other side, you, you think Hofstra would be, you know, Hofstra shooting 50% from the floor, and they're losing by 20. That's crazy. But they've committed 10 turnovers, and, uh, and that'll, that'll hurt right there. Five of them from Amin Tanksley. So the only other game in the top 25 and that is going on right now Oklahoma leads Texas Tech 17-7 with 8:42 left sounds like more of a football score but that's it right now so those are your scores from around the league is we'll be back to action here in just over three minutes with the Huskies and the Dragons get back underway with Northeastern holding a 10-point lead and we'll be back the card most accepted in the Philadelphia region, you have the compassion and security of Blue Cross, giving you the confidence to move forward. Independence Blue Cross. Live fearless. Does this look like your technology plan? Looking for answers? Armada International can help. Providing business process, 
mobile solutions, web applications, and CRM applications. One company solving all your technology issues, Armada International, leading our clients to conquer obstacles and achieve unprecedented success. No one else can do what Colonial Marble and Granite can do. We've revolutionized the way you buy your granite countertops. Colonial Marble and Granite, the nation's leading granite countertop fabricator. Visit our King of Prussia showroom today and see how easy, beautiful, and affordable your countertops can be. Professional, courteous service, unbeatable prices, just $19.99 installed. No one else can beat Colonial Marble and Granite. Visit us online at colonialmarble.net. Some apps help you keep track of things. Some help you kill time. But only one app really keeps you running. The Duncan Mobile app. With DD Perks, our exciting new rewards program. Just enroll, pay with your card, view your points, and tap to redeem your rewards. The Duncan Mobile app. Download it today. It's one straight shot down 95 south. The destination is familiar. The goal is the same. It's called March Madness for a reason. Your Dragon Squad returns to Baltimore's Royal Farms Arena for the CAA Men's Basketball Championship, March 6th through March 9th. So much to see, so much to do. For the absolute best seats available to Drexel fans, visit DrexelDragons.com for more information. Six different guys and three with five or more, so tough team to guard. And looked inside those bizarre Drexel stats, and you have five players with two points, and then Damian Lee with nine for Drexel to get their 19. Yeah, it's crazy. Nobody has more than one basket except for Damian. But the Dragons will take out the ball right in front of us. Tavon Allen walking over. You heard the whistle. They're going left to right. Rashawn London across half court. Sean moving a little bit more pace. Bounces it to Damian Lee between the circles. He throws it right for Allen. Allen just off to the right side, top of the circle. Now dribbling. Just off the Dragons' fire. Throws it left for Damian. Damian along the left boundary. Bounces it down to Rodney Williams. Williams being guarded by Stahl. Backing his way in, turns baseline. Left-handed hook shot. He banks it home off the glass. Looks a little like the old Rodney Williams. 29-21. They get the ball ahead to Walker. Walker back to TJ Williams. Williams puts it on the floor. Now throws it left for Walker, who's now between the circles. Quickly gets it off to Quincy Ford. Ford looking it over, throws it right for Walker, and it looks like there's going to be a holding foul on. Okay, they didn't call it the way that I thought it would. Let's see where they said that is. They're going to call it on Dame Lee. They called it number four. They call it number four. We don't have a four, so it's got to be one four. On and that'll be three on one four. That's not good. I don't have to tell you how much he means to this team. TJ Williams to get it inbounds. Lobs it over the top for David Walker. Walker from Stowe, Ohio, a junior. Throws it right for Quincy Ford. Ford puts it on the floor as he dribbles down the sideline. Now kicks it off to Stahl at the right elbow. He goes down the lane and scoop shot scores. 31-21's the count. What is with this guy and us? Jeez. He just comes to play against the Dragons. Or well, we underestimate him every time, and he just makes us pay for it. London to Ba. Ba just off the left elbow. Now he'll dribble right. Hand it to Damien. Damien around the top of the key. Banks it off the glass and good. The left hand up high off the glass. Took the hand off on the right side top of the key. Went all the way around past the elbow and then banked it home. 18-41 remaining in the game. 31-23 is the count. Walker on the right wing. Puts it on the floor. Now backs out. Throws it cross court to Ford. Ford dribbles to the Three-point stripe, now kicks it off for Williams. Williams into the paint, puts it up with the right hand, and it's no good, but he's fouled. It looks like they'll get Rashawn London on that one. Kind of bailed him out a little there. That wasn't a great shot. Second. At the line, 
Brooks. So TJ Williams will be at the line shooting two. Northeastern took just one free throw in the first half. Williams bends his knees, puts it up, knocks that one down. Just a 60% free throw shooter coming in. He attempts to do it again. He's actually wearing NBA socks. There's a gray Nikes. The second shot is in the air and good. Black NBA socks with the NBA logo on them. Dream big. Ba throws it left for Lee. Lee bounces it down to Rodney Williams on the left block. Backs his way in, turns. Stall flopped. They didn't call it, but Rodney missed the layup. Now Ford saves it over the sideline, and we have a blocking call on Rashawn London. Oh, he's and over here. the he's officials gonna are going to confer about that one. Sorry, Rob. I think okay. Gary Prager is going to call a travel first. And they do. To be on that. On top of that. All over that. I like the fact that you flex, too, to show that. So my little girl does at home when she's right, she flexes, which is funny because she got to weigh 30-something pounds. <laughs> 18-11, it's a 10-point game. The Dragons trail, 33-23. Lee throws it right for Allen. Allen down the three-point arc, looking it over. Now he puts it on the floor, dribbles left. Now back right, throws it to Damian Lee. Lee gets out to the right wing. He's dribbling, goes baseline, stops to the right block, gets it off the glass and scores it. Even when they know it's coming, they can't do anything about it. Damian Lee. David Walker now on the left wing, dribbles right to the top of the circle. Bounce it for Stahl at the right elbow. He'll dribble right and hand it to Ford. Ford puts it on the floor. Right elbow, he kicks it out to Walker. Now Williams has it in the left corner. They give it off to Etherton. Etherton going baseline, spins, walks, gets away with it. Walker in the corner, receives the pass. He shoots. It's in and out. Tavon Allen with a rebound. I don't know if he walked or just appeared to walk. Damian Lee for three. It's good. And Lee almost took out the official on his way back. That kid Lee's pretty good. 33-28 is the score, so the Dragons closing the margin some. Stahl, uh, Etherton, I'm sorry, takes it to the right block, pounds his way in, misses the layup. Rebound by Ba. Ba saves it into London. London bringing it up the left side. Goes to the left block. Layup's good. Coast to coast. That's going to call Bill Cohen to call a timeout. Wow, we haven't seen a run like that in quite some time. It's a 7-0 run in... Really record time. The Dragons are really moving it up and down, and they don't usually play that fast. No, they do not. We got a timeout on the floor. It's just a three-point game. What was 10 at the half is now three here at this timeout. We'll step away. It's 33-30 here at the DAC. Drexel Dragons fans, show your pride with real Dragons gear from the official online store, shop.drexeldragons.com. You'll find everything a Dragons fan needs, including polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 400 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Dragons pride, there's only one place real Drexel fans go, shop.drexeldragons.com. If you want your team to look good, get the look at Campus Clothes. We take pride in having the fashions that you want, like the complete line from Ultra Club, and a design staff that will make your concept a reality. And we do all the work right here with a state-of-the-art silk screen and embroidery facility, which means you get the quality that your team deserves. After all, outfitting for sports teams and corporate teams is what we do. So call today, 215-357-0892. So whether your team is in the corporate office or on the playing field, let Campus Clothes help you get the look. Back here at the DAC, the Huskies forced to call timeout as Drexel on a 7-0 run. The Dragons ship away at the Huskies lead, and now it's 33-30. to Dragons had those seven points in exactly one minute of play. And that, that's quite amazing when you figure the first half, they had 19 points in 20 minutes of play. But all of a sudden, Damian Lee, he, he just can pour on the numbers so fast. He's up to 16, <laughs> like that. He just had nine. Uh, he's amazing, and it was it was nice to see London be able to finish that break, because in that play, they were actually guy wide open on the other side. I thought he was going to try to go to Tavon, instead he took it himself. So Northeastern basketball, T.J. Williams dribbling in front of Rashawn London, goes right, step out, hedge on him, so he passed the stall, stall, cross court to Ford, Ford goes to the right baseline, and they're going to call a blocking foul on Tavon. Yes, they are. They're going to call him with the reach. He went over. He went over the side. Interesting move, actually pretty smart move by Bruiser Flint right now. He took Damien out 
at that last timeout at the 16.55 mark. So it gives Damien a full minute here and the under 16 timeout. The inbound pass to Etherton. He loses it on his way up. And Mojica picks it up off the ground. Mojica waiting for London so he can set up the offense. 16.27 remaining here in the game. He drops it off for Ba. Ba beyond the three-point arc will dribble left. Hands it off to Tavon. Tavon squares up at the top of the key. Now Mojica with the ball. One dribble, steps back. Jumper short. Comes down to Etherton. That's not a good shot for Sammy. He's Etherton. not a step back jump shooter. He hands it to Williams. Williams dribbles down towards the left corner. Now he wants to give it to Stahl. Stahl being guarded by Miles, so he kicks it out to Ford. Now back up top for Walker. Walker on the right side. Dribbling left. Throws it back right for TJ Williams. Williams wants to get it on the block. Etherton, uh, Stahl squares up when Miles gets past him into the lane, puts the ball up on the rim, scores it. And let's see how they call it. Score the basket and get Tyshawn Miles the foul. So Stahl's going to go to try and complete a three-point play when we come back from this timeout. 15-52, it's a five-point game, 35-30. to 30, And we're back here to the deck in just a moment. There is a place where standouts fit in, where innovation is tradition, where you can live the lesson. Welcome to Drexel University. We're a different kind of school, and we're looking for a different kind of student. Drexel is ranked among the top 100 universities in the United States. We offer the academics, research, work experience, and professional network that will help you make your mark. Drexel University, your world is waiting. Card accepted by 90% of doctors and specialists in the Philadelphia region, you have the compassion and security of Blue Cross, giving you the freedom to relish right now. Independence Blue Cross. Live fearless. Two to play in the game. We'll have Zach Stahl going to the free throw line with Northeastern leading 35-30. Zach Stahl comes into the game averaging eight points, Rob. He's got 13. He's six of eight from the floor. And his career high is 19, set against the Dragons last year in the CAA tournament. So they're doing a pretty good job in Etherton. They're, they're keeping him at bay, but Stahl is just doing a job on the Dragons. On the other end, it's Damian Lee single-handedly keeping the Dragons in this game offensively. He's got more than half of their points. So right now, get a pretty good ball game. This is one of those games that you worry about coming in. They're one of the better teams in the league, and the Dragons have shown they can compete with them. Just a question right now with the, the depth. Can they, can they keep it going? And once again, you know, another issue that has been ongoing this year, finding a second scorer to go along with Damon, Damian Lee. No one with more than four outside of Damian. So Stahl at the line, looking for the three-point play. 35-30, the ball is away. It is in and out, comes up high. Quincy Ford comes over the back. And it's going to say that he knocked it out of bounds. Drinks the ball. That's twice tonight we've seen kind of the, the ball hang on the rim and, and bounce it off again, and it really messed up the Dragons' timing. Ba dribbling left, hands it to Mojica. Still no Lee, by Damian the way. Damian Lee still on the bench. And Tavon Allen from three hits off the back iron, comes out long. Walker catches it by the free throw line, dribbles across half court, throws it down the left corner for TJ Williams. Williams up top for Reggie Spencer. He'll go right, hand it to Quincy Ford. Ford. Throws it right for Walker. Now they drop it down on the right block for Spencer. Spencer working against Miles. Turns, forces his way in, and shot is blocked. Ba comes away with it, passes it to London. I like that non-call because he, he, he caused all the contact there. He was muscling his way in. Tavon Allen beyond the three-point arc. Throws it for Miles. Miles, you dribble right, hand it off to Mojica. Mojica throws it right for London. London trying to get in the paint, almost had it taken away from him. Now London tries to get back in, gets to the right block, puts it up, no good. Miles with a catch, no good. And David Walker comes out with it. Walker pushing it up the floor, throws it for Williams, and he's going to kick it, throw it off the back foot of T.J. Williams and out of bounds. But that wasn't just an unforced turnover there. Mojica got a hand in that, got it just enough where it hit off his finger, deflected it out the wrong way, and went off a heel of the Northeastern player. So good hustle by Mojica. Again, we've been saying that a lot lately. That's what Sammy Mojica does. He hustles. Brings the energy. 
Mojica with the ball now between the circles. Passes it from the Dragon's breath over to Allen on the right wing. Allen bounces it left for Bob. Bob will dribble left now. Throws it to Mojica. Mojica going to fire up a three. It's good. He wanted that. You seem like almost begged he for that ball. He called for that ball. 35-33. Quincy Ford in the right corner. Throws it up top for TJ Williams. Williams along the sideline holding it. Throws it to Ford. Ford wanted the three. Tried to pass it into Stahl, and it's saved by Allen. Rashawn London pushing it up the floor. One on one. Scoops it. Misses the layup. Put back, though, by Sammy Mojica. <laughs> Flying through the air. Wow. Hopefully somebody got a picture of that. David Walker for three. Off the back iron, no good. It comes out long to London. London going to take his time. 35 apiece. Wow, Sammy Mojica. Bad decision by London to go in. It was one on four. Missed the layup, but I, I don't know where Mojica came from. And now we got a whistle. I don't know why. They checking the shot clock here? Yeah, 34 seconds in the shot clock, and clearly... The Dragons got the rebound a little while back. Wow. Big spark by Mojica. Oh, this allows Northeastern to make some substitutions. Yes. You know what's impressive about this, too? Damian Least hasn't been in the ballgame since the 1650-ish mark. So that's three minutes of real time plus the media talent. One thing is he has three fouls, and another thing is it's good to get him some rest here. Although Once in a while. Once yes. a week get him a rest. Although he was really hot. <laughs> 13.53 on the game clock here. Um, Begley and Etherton check into the game for Northeastern. They're over there looking at the monitor right now so they can get the clock right. Both coaches using this as a timeout. Dragons getting some water. How, uh, how impressive is that? One of the things Brew, Brew has talked about Sammy Mojica in the press conference after the last game, and we were talking a little about it this morning. He, know, he says his job is to bring energy. And boy, he brings energy. He's not a big guy, but he's had two big rebounds today. One at the buzzer in the first half, scoring a bucket. And then right there, and that, that got the crowd pretty excited. I mean, that was an impressive play. I, it actually could have been an offensive foul because I don't know how he got up that high. It looked like, <laughs> looked like he climbed over somebody. But uh, that's good to see. Uh, and, you know, we're just saying we need a second threat right now, and we're looking at Mojica, seven points. It was everybody with two at the half and Lee with nine. Now Lee has 16. Boz got two still. London and Williams have each chipped in a basket this half. Allen still on the two, but Mojica with five second half points so far. That's nice. Between Mojica and Lee, they've been carrying the Dragons, and all of a sudden it's a tie game. And I actually think this delay is not a bad thing for Drexel. No. The only thing is it does kill the momentum a little, but I think the time on the bench is probably more well served. Yeah, if they can get Damien to the next media timeout and not have to bring him in, I mean, that'll be the longest he sat down all year. Yeah, really, probably the longest he's... Probably the longest he's going to sit down all year. I think that's safe to say. So let's see. We finally figured out... The crazy thing is we're going to figure all this out and all it's going to do is knock the shot clock down to like 26. It's just taking an awful long time. And you hit that number right on the head. <laughs> Jeez, how about that? You're having a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <I d> <laughs> it, was, it was barely out of your mouth when, you, it, when, it, when it changed. That's pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> so 13.45 on the game clock, 26 on the shot clock. Mojica bounces it into London. Could and save us 10 minutes. End. London bounces it to Miles. Miles to the left elbow. Squares up. Now he dribbles left, hands it to Mojica. Mojica throws it left for Allen. Allen's going to pull up for a jumper off balance. No good. Begley with the rebound. Begley's going to dribble out of there. Throws it ahead to TJ Williams. Williams on the left side. Kicks it back for Begley. Now he'll dribble right across the top of the key. Dribbles down towards the right corner. Kicks it back for David Walker. Walker throws it to Williams, who gets it quickly down to Spencer. Spencer's shot goes off the side of the backboard, and Williams comes down with it. So the Dragons with a chance to take the lead. Damian Lee is at the scorer's table. He's going to be coming into Tavon. Tavon between the circles, throws it left for Mojica. Mojica bounces it down on the left block for Williams. Williams with his back to the basket, kicks it in the corner for Mojica. Mojica from three, it rims out. And TJ Williams comes down with it. Williams pushing it up the floor, gets through three dragons, runs over Rodney Williams. So they have an call. offensive foul. They call it a charge, they did. Foul on TJ Williams, his second, team's first. 
That's just the first team foul on Northeastern here in the second half. And Tavon Allen goes to the bench, and Damian Lee checks in. So with a tie game at 12 minutes and 50 seconds remaining, it's Damian Lee back in the game for Drexel. London dribbling across half court. Bounced it right for Rodney Williams. Williams, the right elbow. Hands it to Mojica. Mojica to the left elbow. Hands it to Lee. Lee backs out. Now starts to drift left. Throws it to Mojica. Mojica along the sideline. Bounced it to Williams. Williams is going to dribble right. Fakes the handoff to Lee. Throws it right for London. London brings it back to the top. Gets into the paint. Tries to drop it off for Williams. And it goes off the leg of the Northeastern Husky. Yeah. You can probably hear the fans yelling kickball. And I... I do wonder why they didn't call a kickball. I'm correct about that. Three seconds on the shot clock. We get into Mojica. Mojica looking, looking, looking. Throws it up top for Lee. Lee, two dribbles, steps back. Jumper. Good. Oh. <laughs> Big time shot right there from Dame Lee. Gives the Dragons a three-point lead, 38-35. That's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Etherton with the ball outside on the left wing gets to the Spencer now on the other side for David Walker. Walker fakes the pass and throws it up top for TJ Williams. Williams between the circles now puts it on the floor. Throws it right for Etherton who quickly gets to the Walker on the right sideline. Going to be fouled by Mojica on the right sideline. Going to be the fifth team foul on the Drexel Dragons. First on Mojica. We got a timeout on the floor so we're going to step away for a moment. It's a three-point lead for the Drexel Dragons, 38-35. We're back to the deck here in just a moment. It's one straight shot down 95-7. The destination is familiar. The goal is the same. It's called March Madness for a reason. Your Dragon squad returns to Baltimore's Royal Farms Arena for the CAA Men's Basketball Championship, March 6th through March 9th. So much to see, so much to do. For the absolute best seats available to Drexel fans, visit DrexelDragons.com for more information. Cheer more in Baltimore as the road to the Final Four kicks off with the Colonial Athletic Association Men's Basketball Championship, March 6th through 9th at the Royal Farms Arena. A new money-saving fan package includes a room at your choice of hotels, two harbor passes, two admissions to the Power Play at Live Fan Fest, and an option to purchase discounted tickets for the championship. Come for the tourney and stay for the fun. Score your fan package today at Baltimore.org. B-O-G-R-E-T-T-E dot com. Welcome back to the DAC. 11.49 to play, and tell you what, this is an exciting game here. Dragons lead 38-35. Really good signs for the Dragon, getting some really good production off the bench, mainly from Sammy Mojica, and Dragons are able to keep it close with no Lee out. He comes back in the game, he hits a huge three-pointer. The Dragons trail by three. Still plenty of time left in this ball game, but it has been exciting, guys playing hard tonight. That, that three is highlight worthy, as there were three seconds on the clock, he takes the inbounds pass, two dribbles, and then steps back and buries that thing. Yeah, that was, and everybody knew it was going home. You could even see they forced him, they did everything right. Northeastern forced him to get the ball way outside, but. I mean, Northeastern basketball, and going to call a foul before the clock even starts. Rashawn London. Number three on Rashawn. Six on Drexel. Six team fouls for Drexel. Just one for Northeastern here in the second half. Williams looking to throw it in from the baseline. Looking, looking, looking. Throws it over the top. Etherton. Pass is almost stolen. Now he drops it off for Stahl. Stahl gets it to Williams. And Williams scores underneath the basket. Fouls are six to one. 38-37. 11 and a half remaining here in the game. Williams looking to hand it off to Mojica. He was guarded, so he had to wait until he came clean so he could pass it to him. Now Lee on the right wing. Throws it to Williams at the right elbow. He'll dribble left. Fakes the handoff to Mojica, then pass it to him. Mojica down to the right block. Stops. Throws it back up for Lee. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Lee, step back. Three. It's off left. Caught by Zach Stahl. T.J. Williams is going to bring it up the near sideline. Williams 
Throws it down in the left corner for Ford. Ford from three. It hits the front iron, comes back out to Lee. And they're going to call Quincy Ford for a foul on Damian Lee. The second team foul on Northeastern here in the second half. And you wonder when they start looking up and um, see the 6-1 to one and go, you know, we better call something. <laughs> oh, that was a good call. The so Dragons will have the ball. Up one. Freddie Wilson in the game now for Drexel. He throws it left for Damian Lee. Now Mojica has it in his hands. He's looking it over. Tries to throw a pass through the lane and a kick ball. Got the kick that time. That was, a, that was an end one mixtape pass. Yep. I will say this, though. At least the ball was a bounce pass. It was going to Lee. Sometimes you throw that bounce pass to the big guys. They're not ready for that, especially the younger guys. They haven't played that much. Mojica looking it over, gets to Lee on the baseline, tries to throw a wraparound pass to Mojica. It is saved by Etherton, but knocked out of bounds. That yeah, was not. <laughs> I don't know what Damian was not doing. Not a prescription right there. pass right there. No. Mojica, Williams, Ba, Lee, and Wilson are the Drexel five right now. Williams, Stahl, Etherton. Is that Begley? I see Quincy Ford looking for the for the fifth. And Begley are the Northeastern five. 10.44 remaining here in the game. Drexel by one, 38-37. Northeastern. And Drexel inbounds. Wilson has it. Throws it left for Mojica. Mojica puts it on the floor. Bounces it to Williams. Williams is going to dribble right. Hand it off to Wilson. Wilson, top of the key. Throws it right for Lee. Lee in the paint. Stops. Shoots. Off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Stahl. Stahl throws it ahead to TJ Williams. Williams on the near side here. Kicks it across for Stahl. Stahl quickly gets to Begley. Begley still dribbling. Comes towards the near side, gets to the Stahl. Stahl driving in the paint. Gets it blocked by Williams. Foul by Williams. And him. Oh, he almost gave Rodney a technical. He, he thought about it. Did you see that? Because Rodney was really animated after that. And look, it looked clean from here. So the, maybe biased, but it looked clean from here. He's saying he got him on the elbow, so Stahl will go to the line. Shoot two. The first one is away. Off the back iron, no good. I feel like that's the first shot in Stahl's career he's missed against the Dragons. I know clearly that's not true, but it feels it. 65% free throw shooter coming in. Puts up another one, and this one is good. Tie game at 38 apiece. A little bit more than 10 minutes remaining in the game here at the DAC. Freddie Wilson running the point for Drexel. Bounces it left from Muhammad Ba. He squares up. Looking it over, dribbles right, hands it to Lee. Lee beyond the three-point arc, middle of the floor. Gets to Mojica. Mojica fires up a two. It's good. Looked like it was going to pop out, but it sat down. 40-38. Mojica with seven of his nine points this half. Begley dribbling right, gets to Stahl. Stahl throws it right for Quincy Ford. Ford dribbles at the top of the circle, gets to the left for Begley. Begley puts it on the floor, gets to the free throw line, looking to get into the lane. He scoops and scores. Little acceleration there at the end to get around the Dragons. Begley, that was a nice move. It's our first time seeing him live. He, he looks like he could be a pretty good player. Mojica in the paint with a left hand. It gets caught between the rim and then falls down gently. We almost saw that twice in one night. Quincy Ford on the left wing. Drops it down on the left block. They kick it out for Etherton. Etherton's going to drive the lane. He loses control of it. They're all, he's on the floor. Kicks it over to Begley. Up top for Williams. Williams goes left past Freddie Wilson in the baseline, and I think they're going to call a timeout for Northeastern. It's not a timeout. I mean, it is a timeout, but is there somebody injured? Begley went to the bench. Looks like he's dying over there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh, trainer's coming over to him. Yeah, I couldn't, whatever is happening, he was screened out from us. He's going down to the end of the bench now to be looked at by the trainer. So they lob the ball in from the baseline. Walker with it. Dribbles around the key and walks. 40 to 40, 8.56 to go. It's been a fun game, pretty even all the way around. We'd like to see 
Dragons get a couple easy buckets. I feel like they had to work for a lot of these, settling for a lot of jump shots today. Wilson throws it up top for Tavon Allen, who's returned to the game. Tavon throws it left for Damian. Damian bounces it down to Rodney. Rodney puts it on the floor, comes up to the left elbow, and hands it off to Wilson. Wilson taking it all the way underneath the basket, kicks it out for Allen. Allen going to get into the paint, step back from the left elbow. Jumper, good. Got a lot of air. Yeah, it did. 42-40 is the count. Seems when Tavon's in a slump, the worst thing he can do is take a wide open shot. He has to take one like that. Maybe that gets him going. Quincy Only. Ford gets in the lane, kicks it out for Walker. Walker now drops it off for Stahl. Stahl into the paint, looking for somebody to kick it to. It's picked off by Tavon Allen. Allen dribbling, dribbling down the middle of the floor. Tavon, wraparound pass to Dame. Dame misses the layup, put back by Williams, missed. And TJ Williams comes out with it. Williams dribbling up the middle of the floor, stops at the three-point arc, now passes left for Stahl, quickly gets it left for Walker. Walker from the left wing, dribbles the elbow, now passes to Stahl, Stahl. Backs his way in, gets Ba up in the air, doesn't shoot. Now pass to Walker. Williams with it on the right wing. Williams between his legs and throws it right for Ford. Now back up top for Williams. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Stahl holding it, throws it across for Ford. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Ford to the top of the key, dribbling. Gets to the elbow, kicks it back for Williams. Williams going to pull up from just beyond the free throw line. Misses. Ford tries to tap it back. No good. Ba has it now. Good defensive stand right there. Boy, the Huskies really moved the ball around. Could never penetrate. The Drexel stayed right with them. And looks like some of the Dragons guys are sucking some win right now. Rodney. Two to 40. We got a timeout at the next stoppage of play. Look at Rodney, Mo, Tavon. Tavon all kind of grabbing their shorts right here. Tay has the ball now. Right side, top of the key. Gets it to Damian Lee, who never shows any fatigue. Lee, spin move between oh, two defenders and takes it off the glass. Oh, my. I don't know how he got through he there. He exploded through there. And Bill Cohen wants a timeout. The wow. 30 second timeout. What a move. And tell you what, he may be disappointed, but he did the Dragons a favor right there. Yes, he did. Because now we got back to back timeouts. And the Dragons are sucking wind right now. So I thought, I totally believe you right there, Rob. They had, they had a chance to come down and just run at the Dragons. But Bill Cohen, I mean, literally, Damian Lee spun between a few defenders and then banked it home. They're probably trying to figure out how he got between them. That's what videotape is for. <laughs> yeah, that was. I really didn't think he could get through that hole right there. But Wilson, I'll tell you what, Rob. Yeah. Got to be excited tonight. I'm mean, just the way that they're playing. I know we haven't got many shots knocked down by Tavon. I know the big men haven't really scored tonight. They've really struggled inside. But guys are getting after it. Something fierce tonight. Contending with the cream of the crop in the CAA right now in a four-point lead, 6:50 remaining. Walker from three, wide open, it's good. That kills the momentum a little there as Walker knocks down to three. Got the handoff in a screen and left him wide open to knock one down. Wilson calls out the play, then dribbles right. Freddie throws it left for Tavon. Tavon on the dragon's breath, throws it Damian Lee, top of the key. Now Allen from three, it's good. Like I said with Tavon, let him make his first one a little crazy and then maybe gets in, his, gets in a little streak here. That's a big three by Tavon. 47-43, Ford puts it on the floor and he's going to be bumped by Tavon Allen on the outside. That's a good call. He definitely reached in. And unfortunately, that's team foul number eight. So after the timeout, we'll have a one and one Quincy Ford will be shooting that one-on-one -on -one when we come back. 6-13 remaining here in the game. It's a four-point game, 47-43. Drexel with the advantage. Talk to you again in a moment. With 430. We've been dreaming about this moment for the past four years. We can fight back, we can fight back, and we want to take over the CIA. I'm just on cloud nine right now. I can't, I can't even explain the way I feel. It means the world. We've been working four years really hard for it, and this moment is worth it. It's absolutely unbelievable. That last play, that last game is something that I won't ever forget. We made history, babe. We did it. My Here with another CAA.TV update.
Back here at the DAC, we have 6.13 to go, and Drexel leads 47-43. Northeastern will be going to the line for a one-on-one -on -one when we return. This time, I'll give you a chance to catch up on some of the scores around the league. Real tight game at James Madison tonight where Delaware and the Dukes are tied at 69 with 5.19 to go. The Dragons' next opponent, UNC Wilmington, is handling Elon with ease at 67-42 with 11 minutes to play. And Hofstra starting to chip away. They're only down with 15 now. Is it 69-54? William & Mary holding that lead with 8.47 to go. Here, four-point game with just over six to play, Rob. And be interested to see here what Bill Cohn does and who he goes to because they haven't been able to score much lately. And Etherton really hasn't been as involved. It seems like it's more the style show and the guards. Stahl and Quincy Ford. Ford at the line to shoot one and one. The first one's in the air and good. A 77% free throw shooter. Earned an opportunity for a second one here. A redshirt senior from St. Petersburg, Florida. 6'8 and 225. The ball is in the air and that one is good as well. 47-45. Drexel has the lead and the basketball. Wilson still in running the point. Dribbles to the right side. Now pass it back up top for Lee. Lee goes left for Allen. Allen holding it. Quincy Ford with a hand in his face. Puts it on the floor once. Throws it left for Lee. Lee along the left boundary. Lobs it over for Miles. Miles going to dribble right. Fakes the handoff. Now pass it to Wilson. Wilson, top of the key. Ten seconds on the shot clock. He gets it to Allen. Eight seconds. Tavon dribbling. Pulls up. Shoots. It's no good. Rebounded inside by T.J. Williams. Williams quickly brings it out across half court. He's in on the X and Drexel. Starts to drift left. Now he goes back right, looking to try to get it to Scott Etherton. Etherton has it beyond the three-point arc. He'll throw it back to T.J. Williams, provide a screen. Back to Etherton, top of the key, dribbling into the lane, tried to drop it off, and it's knocked out of bounds by the Dragons. Good hands. First, Muhammad Ba got a piece of it, and then Tavon Allen. 5.21 remaining here, 16 seconds on the shot clock. Williams in, miles out. Rodney Williams playing for the first time in eight games, and actually it's going to be Ba that goes out. Miles will stay. You can see the rust on Rodney today. He's missed a couple shots that normally he makes, but he hasn't been playing in a month. Quincy so. Ford takes the inbounds pass and tries to turn the corner, and Freddie Wilson ties him up. They call it a jump ball, but on the possession arrow, it'll stay Northeastern basketball. Yep. They'll stay Northeastern ball, and there'll be 14 on the shot clock. So Williams to throw it in from the baseline, right side. Looking, looking, looking. Gets it in the corner for Ford. Ford. Now gets to Walker. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Walker gets to Ford. Ford goes baseline. Fights his way through. Gets it blocked by Miles. Taken by Miles. Miles blocked that without jumping. Tavon Allen puts it on the floor, gets into the lane, across the basket, throws it back up, no good. Williams with the rebound, put back, misses. Miles with the rebound, put back, good. Wow, nice John Miles. Didn't think he'd be able to get that up there, but he did, and Dragons up four. 49-45, Walker, trying to get it down on the block for Ford, and he throws it out of bounds. Tavon Allen way overplaying Quincy Ford down there. Yeah, he was, he, he was definitely, there's no chance to get that to him. Reggie Spencer's going to check into the game, and Stahl's going to go to the bench. Rob, looking up the scoreboard, still just two fouls on Northeastern. So it'll be interesting if this stays that way. They're definitely going to have some fouls to give if that's what Northeastern decides to you know, go for some steals late here. Wilson gets it in the hands of Lee. Lee throws it right for Allen. Allen beyond the three-point arc, holding it now. Bounces left. Gets it to Damian Lee, just in front of Bruiser Flint. They drop it down for Williams on the left block. He wants to dribble and back his way, and he gets in the paint, spins baseline, throws it over the basket, but Miles is there to clean it up. Wilson, top of the key, seven seconds on the shot clock. Wilson dribbling to the right elbow, bounce it out to Allen. Allen from three, in and out. Hit the far side of the rim and bounced out wide to Williams. Williams brings it to the three-point arc, kicks it to Walker. Walker throws it to Ford in the left corner, dribbles. In the lane, gets to Spencer. Spencer up top for Ford. Now Walker in the corner. From three, it's missed. Williams with a rebound. Dragons just trying to slow it down again. All the Dragons on the court are really exerting some energy here. And Bruce is going to call a timeout. I think this is a good call. He's going to get the timeout just to give the guys a break. Get Muhammad Ba in the game. Get exactly. Tyshawn off the floor. Exactly. And then there'll be immediate timeout right after this. So one of the things Bruce and I had talked about you know, the last few weeks while we've been on the 
the road here is that's one of the things you're going to try to do more is use those timeouts strategically more for resting guys than calling plays or changing defenses. And it's good to see that right here. The Dragons with a four-point lead. It's good that you and Rue talked about some things besides, you know, who you didn't get on the all, you know, player of the week and rookie of the week and all that stuff. Yeah. Huh. Good to have some normal conversations. Yeah, sometimes we have some good conversations. And one of the better conversations he had this week is He's not one of these Philadelphia haters that hates on the Patriots because of the whole ball episode, uh, which is kind of funny. Uh, because I would have thought that's an opportunity for him to get all over me, but he, he's been pretty good about it. I think he's just with all the Boston guys on his staff and the years he's been up there, yeah. he's just like, whatever. And honestly, Patriots. right now he doesn't care about football anymore. He's trying to get this thing turned around and trying to get some of these young guys some quality minutes. And we've seen that tonight. We've seen quality minutes from Mahika. And I think Tyshawn Miles played a really good game in, you know, in limited capacity. He's done some good things defensively. Grabbed a lot of rebounds today. Allen throws it into Lee. Quickly gets it to Wilson. Ba and Williams also on the floor. Lee, top of the circle, drives right. Gets to the baseline, kicks it back for Allen. Allen to the right elbow, brings it back out. Throws it right for Lee. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Lee dribbles left. Steps back, gets it to Wilson. Wilson from three. The rainbow is no good. Ball bounces way out to the right side. Run down by David Walker. Looked like it was going from here. A lot of arc under it. Wilson drops it off for Ford. Ford now hands it off to Spencer. Spencer throws it right for Williams. Williams looking to get it down on the right block, and he does. Etherton fights his way in. His pass out is deflected. Walker has to run it down. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Walker throws it left for Ford. Ford gets to the baseline. Pass it along the baseline into the corner for Williams. Williams three is no good. Rebound by Williams. And Spencer wants to, to block his egress from there. Get it up to Lee. We will wait for Wilson. We'll set up the offense. Two minutes, 35 seconds remaining in the game. Drexel with a four-point lead, 49 to 45 here at the deck. Damian Lee on the left wing with the ball. Puts it on the floor, goes baseline, and scores it. Damian Lee. Lee with 23 to lead the Dragons. 9 of 16 shooting for Damian Lee. Williams to Ford. They drop it down to Reggie Spencer on the left block. Ba was there backing him up. Now he dribbles up top. Into the Quincy Ford. Ford's going to fire it up from just inside the three-point arc. No good off the back iron high. Freddie Wilson with a rebound. Wilson ahead to Allen. Under two minutes remaining in the game. Okay, the Dragons are running some offense here. Still have the media timeout coming. They're going for some steals now. Wilson takes it all the way down the lane, and he will be fouled on his way in. You could hear Coach Cohn over there yelling foul. That's one of the things we talked about earlier. There's only two fouls. So they're going to go for some things right here. Well, it's just the third team foul. Reggie Spencer's second timeout on the floor. That media timeout that we've been waiting for for quite some time. Comes with a minute 49 remaining in the game. The Dragons up six here at the deck. Colonial Marble and Granite. Quality, selection, service, and price. We're the nation's leading fabricator. We buy direct, saving you money. Offering thousands of choices and hundreds of colors. All on site in our one-of-a-kind indoor slab yard. Colonial Marble and Granite. The original home of the 1999 special. Get your new granite countertop for just $19.99. Fully installed. Stop by our King of Precious Super Showroom and see how easy, affordable, and beautiful your countertops can be. Visit us online at colonialmarble.net. Looking for solutions when working with the government? Armada International can help. Providing lobbying and advocacy. Helping our clients navigate the hurdles when doing business with Capitol Hill. Providing successful campaign strategies. Managing political action committees and other advocacy organizations. Armada International. Making the connection. We know the way. Back here at the John A. Jaskalakis Athletic Center, the campus of Drexel University, we have 149 to play, and the Dragons a 51-46 lead over Northeastern. Reggie Spencer committed that last foul for Northeastern. And as we were saying earlier with the, the foul situation, the Huskies still have three more fouls to give. So it appears that Bill Cohn is just going to have his guys go for steals and try to try to even up those fouls because they need the, they need the ball and 
the Dragons can kill a lot of the clock here, and they're not even in the one-on-one one yet. So Dragons will have a six-point lead. Haven't had too many leads at home this late to try to hold on, and we'll see if the Dragons can do that. They come out with Allen, Ba, Rodney Williams, Lee, and Freddie Wilson. Allen to throw it in from the baseline, gets it into Damian Lee in the right corner. He throws it up top for Wilson. Wilson dribbling left, throws it to Tavon Allen. Ford hands all over him. <laughs> well, he was trying to foul early. They just weren't going to call that. He, it's funny. He didn't even look like he went with the ball. It looks like he was doing a karate chop to his chest there. <laughs> and Tavon a little, little aggravated with yeah. that. It's the, just the fourth team foul, the second on Ford. So Tavon from the sideline gets it into Ba. Ba in the corner, and they immediately foul him. There's Williams. So now they're up to five fouls with 1.41 to play. Can add some significant minutes to the game. Yeah, it's only 8.42. This is like one of the earliest endings we're ever going to have, so we've got to lengthen this. Bach takes the inbounds pass, and Saul tries to foul him. They get it in the hands of Tavon. Tavon lobs it to Mo. And Mo gets to Freddie Wilson in the corner. Wilson back to Allen. Allen near half court. Ford all over him. And finally, they decide enough is enough. How much violence is enough, Tubes? <laughs> well, it's down to 129, so that, that was about a 12-second possession. Dragons with a two-possession lead here. And next foul will send the Dragons to the line. And Tavon gets it into Mo. Mo hands it right back to Tavon, and just like that, Stahl's going to get the foul. And Tavon's going to go to the line and shoot one and one. So Allen will go to the line with a one and one. The Dragons have only been to the line once today. It was Damian Lee drove. He made both of his shots, but two for two from the line. That's K Caleb Donnelly checking in, and Zach Stahl goes to the bench. Donnelly, a redshirt junior. Built like a walk-on. Allen, first free throw on the one and one is up and good. 52-45. Mohika checking into the game, and Muhammad Ba checking out. So Williams, Mohika, Allen, Lee, and Wilson in the Drexel Five. Tavon has it, a bounce. The bend of the knees, the shot is up, and good. 53-45, eight-point lead for Drexel, and Bruza Flint wants a timeout. Wow, eight-point lead. 127. Man, we haven't been in too many positions protecting leads. No, we haven't. And and this is one you wouldn't think you'd have an eight-point lead against Northeastern. They just, every year we play this game, and it's really close, whether it's up in Boston or here. It just seems to be one of those games, so many overtimes, so many buzzer beaters. Uh, a really good addition to the league when they came back in. It, it brings back one of the old rivalries the Dragons used to have in their America East days. Drexel shot just 32% from the floor in the first half. They're shooting 43.8% from the floor in this half. One of the things Bruza said before the game in our interview, can't shoot 32% and win the game. So they step it up in the second half and have an opportunity here to hold out at home. Wilson, Williams, Lee, Allen, and Mohica. On the other side, Ford, Williams, Etherton, Walker, and Caleb Donnelly. Dragons put in a little full court, token full court pressure. Williams brings it across half court. Minute 20 remaining in the game. TJ Williams the ball, dribbling right around the top of the circle. Takes it all the way down to the block, and he is fouled on his way in. And they say it was on the floor or on the shot. Uh, call it on the shot. Rodney Williams gets his third. It's actually, actually, it's on the floor because they're saying one and one. They're indicating one and one at the table. Oh, no, this official saying two. Yeah, they're discussing it right now, and Jeff Clark was the official, or the ref made the call, and he put up the two hand, two fingers. And there you go, two again. T.J. Williams shooting two. T.J. Williams shooting two. Bends the knees. First one is up and good. For defensive person purposes, Ford and Etherton are going to go to the bench. Full-on hack-a-shack here. Yeah, they're bringing, they're going to definitely try to make Drexel beat him at the line. Although Drexel's better than 70% free-throw shooting team this year. 
Donnelly, his second. Humble but good, 53 to 47. And they set up the full court pressure. Wilson lobs it into Lee. Lee gets it ahead to Mojica. Mojica by himself misses the layup. He was fouled by Stahl. Stahl came hustling from behind. Well, Mojica must have heard footsteps on that one. Yeah, he put that way up there. Stahl got him. Unfortunately, Sammy's, well, it's not saying that. Mojica's going to the line. He has not fared too well there this year. The last couple games has been a little better, but he will get two. Got to make him these away. One. Missed that one off the back iron. He came into the game at 6 for 18 from the free throw line. This is important. This will make it a three possession game if he can knock this down. He feels revives, Tubes. He bends his knees. He puts it up. It's good. He felt you, dog. Felt the positive energy. Three possession game. Sammy with 10. 54 47. Drexel in front. Quincy Ford with it at three point arc. Throws it left for David Walker. Walker driving on the baseline. He was fouled on the outside by Tavon. A lot of the fans aren't real happy with that call. They're going to call him on the push, but he will have two shots. And the double bonus in effect for Northeastern. Walker's going to the line, and he's almost automatic. 57 for 64 before today's contest. Hard to say that he's actually a better free throw shooter than Damian Lee, which we don't say about too many people. Marshawn London in, Sammy Mohica to the bench. Now it's a six-point game with a minute left. Ford and Etherton back to the bench for Northeastern. As David Walker makes the second. They're going to press, five-point game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, Rob. It's all right. So Wilson looking to get it in. Gets it in the corner for Tavon. Tavon double team. Gets it out to Wilson. Wilson up ahead to Rashawn London. Almost threw it too far. And they're going to foul Rashawn London. Send the freshman to the line here in the pressure situation. That almost went onto the Drexel bench. Ball was thrown a little ahead of Rashawn. He had to run it down. Oh, when you saw that skip, like, oh, please don't go out of bounds, please. Big shots for London. Etherton and Ford back. Stahl and Spencer go to the bench. So Rashawn London to shoot one and one here. 54 and one, 10 second remaining. Dips his knees, puts it in the air, and it's good. Not a lot of spin on his free throw. But it went down strong. 55-49 is your score. Second one's away. This one is off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by Quincy Ford. T.J. Williams will bring it up. Good time to get a stop here for the Dragon defense. Williams between two defenders, uh, and they're going to call a foul. Baffling. Tavon Allen. Number four on Tay. Wow, and just like that. T.J. Williams heading to the line. They're making this interesting. Williams four for four from the line today with eight points. Two bounces, he spins it in his hands, now bends his knees, he shoots, it's good. 55-50. Spencer, Donnelly back on the floor, along with Walker, Williams, and Begley. T.J. Williams, the second free throw is away and good as well. 55 to 51. Wilson looking for somebody to get it into. Calls a timeout. Wilson has to call a timeout to prevent turning the ball over. So the Dragons will have the ball once again under their own basket. 47.7 seconds left. Four point game. Wow. This is a nail biter to say. A little say tense the least right here. now, right? Yeah, you can just all of a sudden feel it. Dragons have played so well today. You want to want to finish this one off, but a couple missed free throws and a couple really untimely fouls there. Like that, the last one, actually, the last two by Allen, just stops the clock. I mean, even if he goes up and misses it, they get a board, put it back. You're knocking off five to ten seconds. And instead, they just free time sitting at the line and. The clock is not moving. 
Both teams shooting two on any fouls. Wilson, the end line to throw it in for the Dragons. He gets it. Bounced it into Muhammad Ba. It's knocked out of bounds by Begley. It'll be Drexel Ball once again. Wilson <laughs> slides along the baseline to the left corner. We'll do it again. 46 and 9, 10 seconds remaining. Wilson lobs it to Lee. Oh. And Lee is bumped hard by Begley. That was, a, that was a good stick. That, that was a body, that was a check right there. <laughs> Once it went over the top, it was almost like a receiver just trying to, look like Dame was just trying to catch the ball and boom, the contact. He knew, he, he, knew he was going to get popped. And they're going to review I it. I think they're going to look at the, go to the monitor and take a look at that play. Is, I don't really think there's much reason to go to that, but they will. Want to see if they should put up the X. Mojica checks in for Drexel. Well, Lee will be going to the line. He will be shooting two. That we know. So, you, hope, you know, it's a four-point game. He can make this a difficult situation for the visitors if he can knock down two. Begley, the freshman out of Pearland, Texas, trying to make sure he didn't get a little bit too aggressive there on that last play. And game gave it a little bit of a flop. But he was in the first row of seats easily. Yeah, we had a really good view of that. It was, it was a good hit. And it was right in front of a lot of the very vocal Drexel fans. Who Our friends and neighbors yeah, here at the DAC. Make sure that the referees go to the monitor for that. As they were, I think they were talked into it. I don't think anything's happened Nothing's about happened it. Nothing's happened about it. No blood, no foul. Two shots coming for Damian Lee. And Lee getting a little, uh, little tape on his left arm. When I had a little blood flowing now, he had taped up by Mike Westfer. It was a chance to give him a shout out. Lee bounces it once. He's now quiet the gym is. Nails it. 56-51. Lee again. Rubs it up. The bounce. Bends his knees, it's up. Good. 57-51 Drexel. 46 seconds remaining in the game. TJ Williams across half court. Goes right. Takes it all the way to the right block and scores it. The Dragons open up the gates for him. The four-point game with 38 and 3, 10 seconds remaining. Bill Cohen with the timeout. He's got one remaining. Each team with one timeout remaining here. T.J. Williams got down court in a hurry to, to answer those free throws. T.J. Williams with 12 points. Walker has 10. Williams has 12. Stahl has 14. Etherton, 8. On the other side of Ledger, Mojica with 10. Allen with 9. Damian Lee with 25. Mohamed Ba with 2. London with 5. Williams with four, and Tyshawn Miles with two. That's Drexel's 57. Rob, that basket right there, the first field goal Northeastern has made since the 646 mark. So the Dragons defense six minutes without allowing. They throw the ball to half court for Damian Lee, and he is fouled as he catches it. Going to call Devon Begley. Looked like it was going to be a turnover, but they call the foul instead. I don't really know. I mean, it's hard to tell from here. If, looked like he got the ball. I just couldn't tell if he got the body. He was kind of screened. Screened, and Bill Cohn is mocking the referees with the clapping, as you can hear it. And he's, he's still clapping. He's very upset. And Gary Prager just told him to stop. They hit the line, looking to improve on his 25. There's 26. Wilson, Mojica, Lee, Ba, Allen, the Drexel five. Lee steps back to the line, 37 and five tenths remaining. It's so quiet. Yes, it is. It's up and good. I'm here on the 18th green. <laughs> you get the ball into TJ Wilson. Yeah. He brings, 
Williams, he brings it across half court. He's on the left side. It's taken, wants to take it all the way down to the block. Now kicks it back out for Etherton. Etherton drops it off for Williams. Williams can't get around Ba. Now he gets in the lane, oh. and they're going to call Ba for the foul. You know, that's one of those where it looked like Mo got him a little, but he, he got to be smart enough. He, he's, he's tapping his chest saying, yeah, my bad. You know, the problem is that they're going to line now, and the clock stopped. You have to let him, let him earn him. You're right about that. So TJ Williams said his name a lot lately. Like Bruce said, he is one of the underrated players in this league, and he's had a very nice game tonight. Shot is away. Good. Even a better game if you would miss one of these. Rashawn back on the floor. Mohika to the bench for Drexel. Seven of seven from the line tonight. 13 points, five boards. He spins it, bends the knees. From his toes, he fires it. It's good. Four point game, 24 and a half seconds remaining. Wilson will throw the inbounds play. Fakes the long pass. Gets it in the corner for Damian Lee. Lee on the sideline, dribbling around. Between the between three defenders, throws it to a half court for Allen, and he is fouled as he passes it. Wow. He really, it didn't look like they were going to call a foul, and all of a sudden, there's three Huskies all around him. So Dames goes back to the line. At the line for Drexel, number 14, Damian Lee, shooting two. So Lee at the line, he takes the ball now, toes the line, looks it over, moment of meditation, one bounce, it's away, good. <laughs> Damian Lee, 28 points tonight, 9 of 16 from the floor and so far 7 of 7 from the free throw line. Remember guys used to score 20 like, well that's a big game, like now you just expect it every night from him and you don't even get that excited with a 28 point night. He's eclipsed that a couple times already this year. The second one is away. That's good, too. 61-55. Dragons putting a little pressure on Williams. Now he gets it across to Ford. Ford kicks it back in the corner. Oh, oh Caleb Donnelly for three. 61-58, 12 seconds remaining. Wow, out, out of nowhere, of all the guys you think they could shoot threes, Caleb Donnelly, I mean, he's made 17 of them. He's shooting very well from out there, but. But it's like he gets one a game because he yeah. only averages three points a game. But boy, of all the guys, you know, you think Walker and Ford and those guys, but no. Now they didn't bring him into the game until the clock got close and they needed a shooter. No. Good move by Coach Cohn because all of a sudden it's a three point game now. Again, it was funny. At one point I said it was 8 42 and we need this game to go on. They were about one, I believe there was 158 on the clock at 8.42 in real time. It's 8.59 and we still have 12 seconds left. We can't seem to get this one over. I, I told you that it would add some, <laughs> some significant time to the length of this game. Oh boy has it. Dragons, they, Dragons basically, can, and they make their free throws and salt this one away. But they Depending on how much time they get, they can run off the clock here in this play. And they have to get it in. That's first things first. They have to, yeah, they have to get it in. And, you know, obviously you can try to get to Lee again. I don't know if that's going to be possible. I mean, everybody in the world knows it's going to leave. I think the only other thing is you may be able to go long here. But that's that's a gamble because if you throw it out of bounds long, then you're right back underneath the basket. Yeah, Northeastern has it. Exactly. Wilson slaps the ball. They're trying desperately to get it. They hold Lee before he can even get it. And Damian Lee's going to go back to the line. They were not going to let him catch the ball. And Damian Lee loving it. Absolutely loving it. If you could see his body language right now, he was striding to the line. Like he wants to be the guy with the ball right and that's now. That's what really that's what you want out of your best player. That's what Marcus Thornton does. That's what Damian Lee does. And that's why in my mind this is the best player in the CA. Lee has it. Looking it over. Bounce, bend, shoot, score. Bang. 62-58, two-possession game. Mohika in, London out. And fans getting on Coach Cohen a little bit. They were not nearly as confident or cocky in the first half, but 
Four-point lead, and Damian Lee at the line to shoot one. They feel pretty good. He makes it 63-58, 12 seconds remaining. T.J. Williams brings it up the far sideline. Tries to create contact as he shoots a three. Air ball out of bounds. It's going to be Drexel basketball. Five and four, ten seconds remaining here in the game. London in, Mohica to the bench. So they foul before they can even throw the ball in. And once again, it's going to be Damian Lee. And Damian jogging down the court to get to the free throw line. He can't wait to get there and shoot it. So Drexel going to get another win here. They're going to go to 6 and 14. And 4 and 5 in league play. Lee. Shooting, good. Northeastern is now going to be 14 and eight with a six and three league record. Damian Lee looking to go perfect from the line tonight. Bends his knees. It's up. He's a perfect 12 for 12 from the line tonight. 33 points for Damian Lee. Williams hustling it up the court, scores it on a reverse layup. And that is going to do it. Your final score will be 65 to 60. Drexel was down 10 at the half and finds a way to get back on top and win this one over the Northeastern Huskies. Great hustle, great effort by your Drexel Dragons tonight as they did not give up. And they struggled to get the ball in the basket in the first half. They persevered and turned Damian Lee loose in the second half. He had nine points at halftime. He finishes the night with 33, 9 of 16 shooting from the floor, and 12 for 12 from the free throw line is Damian Lee tonight. He got some help from Sammy Mojica, who gave, contributed 10 points, and Tavon Allen, who gave them 9. Another great effort from Damian Lee and Sammy Mojica helps the Dragons pick up a win here tonight over a tough, tough Northeastern squad. And we'll, we'll get right to the interviews in this one. Head coach Bruiser Flint making his way across the floor right now. Giving some, giving some hugs to, the, uh, to some of the, the DAC Pack members and the fans who sit right by, here by our table. And we'll go with head coach Bruiser Flint first. Congratulations, Bru. How about that? How about that? You guys scrapped. You were down 10 at the half. And the guys fought and scrapped. And you turned Dame loose in the second half. Or he got loose in the second half. And you guys come up with a, with a big win here at home. Uh, we got any stats? Um, we got the monitor here. Dame finished with 33 tonight. Wow. Shot a lot of foul shots at the end. But you know what? Got to stop shooting. What we shoot in the second half? Shot 43.8% huh. in the second I, half. I, I, my whole thing at halftime was, got to stop shooting 30%. Don't, they were up because they just scored more baskets than we did. It wasn't necessarily because we were bad on defense. But you can't always shoot 30% and try to win games. You know what I mean? Guys got to be ready to make a play, make a basket when it started. And I think Sammy got it started with a three. Then Rashawn had a nice drive. Tyshawn got a nice put back. So, you know, I mean, that was one of the things. But my whole thing at halftime was forget you know, defense. We can talk about defense all we want. We're shooting 30% again. And you, and you, and you make that, that mention of that. The, the, the Husky shot 13 for 25 in the first half. You shot eight for 25 in the first half. It's right. the same number of bucks. Right. Number of you shots, know what I mean? So got to make some plays. One, one of the things we want to do is keep them off the three-point line. Don't let them make a lot of threes because they're good when they make a lot of threes. I thought we did that. Even in the first half, we did that. But in the second half, it was all about we made some baskets. I mean, that was it. And that's why we were able to get the lead, come back, and do what we need to do. And then, you know, 12 for 12 from the line was Dame. When it, can't, when it counted? Well, they, 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 they talked about our foul shooting on the uh, conference call the other day. I said, if we don't make fouls, we might not score. So <laughs> the one thing we've done all year is make foul shots. So, so that was good tonight. Uh, you, you had Rodney on the floor today. He was able to give you some minutes. Well, you know, he, he gives us a person that sort of knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I think he's still a little rusty offensively. He, he blocked some shots. He got some rebounds. So, you know, hopefully he gets better after each game. And he was able to get to the front of the rim. He missed some bunnies, mm -hmm. but he was able to, mm -hmm. you know, for the first time in a couple of weeks, you have a guy who's willing to get to right, the front of the right, rim. And, right. really and then, then actually, too, then you're, you're off your, your offensive rebound becomes a little bit better just because he's a threat now. Uh, this gets you to, to four and five in the league, six and 14. It's a, it's a real nice win against a tough team, and it's got to help reinforce the guys that, hey, if we focus, 
This is still, this is still, this still can be ours. I, I, I talked about that before the game. I said that, you know, hey, this is it. You know, we, we do what we're supposed to do. We got a chance to win the game. So, uh, you know, we did, a better, we did a good job of it. And guys came in. I thought, you know, our bench played well again today, Tyshawn, and, um, and actually Freddie played well. And, uh, and so did uh, Sammy. So those guys gave us good minutes, and, uh, and that's when we were able to get through the game. Well, Brew, congratulations. Let you go talk to the guys. All right. All right. your head coach, Bruiser Flint, after a win here versus the Northeastern Huskies. And uh, the guy we're going to talk to a lot after wins, heck, we should talk to him after losses too because he plays hard no matter what. Damian Lee, congratulations, my man. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. 33 points tonight. More importantly, 12 of 12 from the free throw line. And I say more importantly because – you know, you had to bang a three the other night to, to get us ahead and to win it today. You had to go to the line and, and prove your medal. Northeastern dared you to win the game. Yeah, you, um, you know, one thing that I really, really pride myself on is uh, being a great free throw shooter. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I shoot, you know, close to 90 percent. And that's, you know, one thing that I've always worked on in my entire career, just, you know, taking pride on my free throws. And I mean, you know, they're free points. I mean, 12 for 12, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, you guys are down 10 at the half. What was the mood going into the locker room at the half, and, and what sort of change coming out in the second half? Um, really, I think, you know, we, we didn't have any energy in the first half. So um, one thing that uh, the coaches were, were talking about was that if we come out and if we play with energy and focus more in the second half, then we'll give ourselves a shot. And, um, you know, we did, and a couple, uh, Tavon hit a huge three. Sam had a huge three and a good putback. And, you know, that sort of put us up, and then, you know, we just had to control the game from there. And, and you guys did a really good job. I mean, Northeastern went almost five minutes toward the end of the game without scoring a field goal. So you guys not only started making some shots, but you cranked up the defense a little bit too. Yeah, definitely. Um, one thing, you know, in the first half when, I mean, we were playing, you know, pretty good defense, but when we, you know, weren't scoring on offense, they were, they were converting on, on theirs. So every time, it was like every time that we didn't score, they scored. So, you know, we uh, – came in and we buckled down and then we knocked down a couple shots in, in the second half. Uh, and there's a game like this, I just asked Brew about it, but does this game like this sort of reinforce the guys that, hey, regardless of what's happened before, we can still get this thing? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we don't, we don't feel like that there's a team in the league that, that is, you know, unstoppable. Like, there's no, there, there's no Kentuckys, you know, in, in this league. Um, and we feel that, you know, if we just come play with effort, toughness, and poison, then we can give ourselves a shot against any team. Well, congratulations, Dave. Another great game from you. Thank you. Hard thank work you. paying off once again. It's Damian Lee, one of our stars of the game. And uh, talk once again. You guys going to start becoming a regular for us. Sammy Mojica, how are you, man? I'm good. And you? A uh, great second half. Eight points in the second half. You shot four or seven from the floor today. I mean, the one thing that we keep talking about is, is, is your energy that you bring to the floor. And once again today, I mean, you brought a couple of hustle plays that really made a difference for the Strexel team. Yeah. Uh, talk about your, just talk about your role on the team. Um, kind of like piggybacking off of last game. You know, I just come off the bench and I'm looking to bring that energy. I'm that energizer for the team. And, you know, I think it rubs off. I come in, make a big play, like that tip in. And then, you know, the crowd gets in it, gets in our heads. We all get amped, and then, you know, it just rubs off. We get another steal after that, and then we just start rolling from there. That's how I see it. That tip in that you had in the second half, I'm not even sure how you got up that high in the air for that. You you looked like you had to climb over somebody's back to get up there. <laughs> that was a heck of a play. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, you know, I was just running it down hard. I had a feeling. I didn't think Rashawn was going to miss, but, you know, he had, like, two guys trailing him, and, you know, I just wanted to make it a Another big play like I like I do. Uh, you guys just can't seem to get a good shooting effort in the first half of games, uh, but in the second half you were able to able to pull it together a little bit. What changes at halftime? Um, you know, I think I think we lately we've been coming out well. You know, the whole season, first half. You know, we've been sluggish and shooting actually the whole game. But you know, like I said, I think we've all been taking in the halftime. What Brood's been saying at halftime. You know, he tells us be ready to shoot. And, you know, we just come out at halftime when we're just ready, and it just starts rolling from there. Well, Sammy, congratulations. Time to go in and, and soak it in with your teammates. Thank congratulations, you. man, on another great game. Dragons getting the win here over Northeastern. 65-60 is your final score. And, and wrap up the, the interviews, the biggest Dragon fan in the land, the one and only Cal Hicks. What's going on, baby? Defense went championship. I want this boy to keep winning. I don't want to lose no game. Ever. Uh, since I'm a horrible, I want to keep winning. I want, I want uh, a championship. I want to cut down the net. I want to do everything. I want, I want good, good 
basketball game and win that game and go to CAA. Well, you got a good game here today, Cal. Congratulations, man. Great job cheering, cheering on your boys as always. Well, there you go, Drexel. Ten, down 10 at the half. They come back and win this one at home. 65-60, oh, the first place team in the CAA, the Northeastern Huskies. I'm Rob Brooks, along with Mike Tuberosa. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back after the break and go through the numbers for this one. Obviously, Damian Lee, the leading scorer in the game. And we'll tell you who else got on the board today as well. Back here to the deck in just a moment, right here on DrexelDragons.com. <laughs> 